from the top. Welcome Thank to the Aphmel Pod. I was dead ass thinking that. <laughs> Off to a good start, I see. <laughs> great, great. Oh, shit. <laughs> You want to well, start this great. one? No, I think that is a start. I'll, I'll start it. I'll start it. All right, all right. Ready? Three, all two, right. one. What's up, pals? It's the Alpha Male Podcast. We got Kyle Rexter. Shit, shit. I got blue reveal. We've got a blue reveal, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh all right. All right. I'll, let's try it. Let me try it again. All right. Alright, what is up, Alpha Males? Welcome to the Alpha Male Podcast. I'm Rex the Rail Fanner, but you can call me Kyle. We got Ethan here, um, yes. uh, Urban Mongoose, and we crew. got, uh, we got Ryan, uh, with Typhus. So, yep. uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about a lot of manly things, manly. like, nerd shit. Um, and yeah. Exactly. Like, God, that's a lot of energy from 10 o'clock on a Friday night. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Or Jesus, he has a lot of anime wallpapers. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> uh, we'll notice that shortly. Yeah. Oh. But yeah. Um. So Kyle, I saw you uh, visited us the uh, the fucking the steam train thing, the 2011 or some shit, 2021. Or yes, 2102. That was an interesting chase. A lot okay. of uh, a lot of real fans out there. You were talking I think about the, the foamers. Yes, the foamers. There were literally thousands of them chasing the train um and a lot of them were like lined up beside the road if you saw that in the video mm-hmm. did you guys did you get did you see the fucked up car <laughs> and, no. yeah and then and then that appeared again took over you'll have to you'll have to put a screenshot here i can send uh, the i can send the send the picture in the group chat but it's all right yeah all right. oh, might be oh my goodness yeah. That's funny. Yeah, it was it was a fun chase. It was it oh, was geez. probably one of the best rail fan experiences I've had. That's um, lovely. But yeah. here's the fucked up car. Uh, oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Hold on, I'm downloading this picture. Yeah, it's only a little bit. Look at the electrical <laughs> tape uh, all over the thing. I'm oh yeah, guaranteeing happened during a uh, chase. This guy. <laughs> Because he was chasing the steam engine, so Jesus yeah, <laughs> that's not there pretty. You know, viewers. That was funny. The blinkers Ooh. were somehow still working, amazingly. <laughs> <laughs> amazingly, <laughs> dude. Yeah. My God, just imagine. Oh my God, man's whipping a salvage title. <laughs> yeah, and then then some in, in the video. There was like the there was like this Joe Biden. Looney Tunes thing that I was trying to take a video of, and oh, like no. our group is like laughing about it, and then my brother's just like, "Oh no, it's this guy again!" And I zoom out, and that car's passing us. <laughs> <laughs> We're all laughing our oh, asses god. off. Oh my god. Oh man, that's hilarious, bro. Yeah. So that was <sighs> that was that was one of the highlights of that trip. The steam engine was really cool too. Nice, nice. <laughs> Holy shit. To keep it on trains, I want to talk about the worst experience I've ever had with one. Oh. Now, let me paint the scene. I was seven. <laughs> and I was a, and I Go was on. A, <laughs> and I was a big Thomas the Tank Engine fan. Oh, weren't we all, though? Weren't we all? Now, the yeah. thing is, um, the, I found out there was this, um, this Thomas the Tank Engine full-size locomotive that actually ran. And pull, to uh-huh. pull passengers. I'm like, hell yeah, I want to go on it. It's not even far from my cousin's house. I went mm-hmm. on it. The line was took 30 minutes to get on the train. <laughs> and what oh they God. did was they drove a mile up the tracks and a mile back <laughs> at five miles an hour. And oh I God. paid... Wait, wh- wait, was this at Strasbourg or New Hope? Oh, Christ. Um, I know it's about, I think it was like 15, 20 minutes from Bath, Pennsylvania. That might have been Strasburg. Yeah, that used to be like really lame. Um, yeah. Now they run all the way, all the way um, down the line. And now they have all the, they have all these like creepy ass faces on the diesels too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. 
I, I, I could bring it up. It's like, <laughs> man. Um, but I did get to go in the Susquehanna, and that was fun. But I will nice. never I forget the Ripoff Express. Yeah. Man, that <laughs> the yeah. That, what? Oh wait, did you what in Phillipsburg? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That they're still trying. They're trying to get that engine back running. I'm actually oh, going nice. there tomorrow. Oh, so oh nice. Um, yeah, they're uh, having an event. There's another museum near the in the area. It has like a small miniature train that goes back and forth, and they have some pretty cool stuff, but actual rare equipment. So that's going to be cool. fun to go to. <laughs> All right, sick, sick. Nice. Right, gentlemen. Right now, I am taking summer classes. Getting ahead, okay. doing my mm-hmm. prerequisites yeah. like a good person, trying to be integrate right, myself right. into society. Yeah, I fucking hate my teacher a lot. Into just nice day. He's a Do funny, tell. He's a good teacher, but he grades like Hitler. Oh boy! God, no. <laughs> Let me tell you, I got my quiz back. Oh, mm-hmm. le- so it was a graphing problem. So. On my first graph, I got a number wrong, okay? Oopsie daisies. Got a point off. This was a 16-point mm-hmm. quiz, all right? I didn't have points to spare. <laughs> all right? Second quiz, right. um, second graph on the 16-point quiz. I accidentally wrote the correct number as positive instead of negative, but it's, everything is in their correct position, and I got yeah. a point off. Okay. Do you so get- two points down on 16 points. You'd suck oh, it pretty let's, lucky, let's, let's crank it up. We're three, four points off. Let's crank those numbers up, man. I'm, ugh, mm. ugh. Do the math for yourself. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, well, you could tell us that it was like a 62. <laughs> <laughs> God, man. Them shits are hard, man. How'd everyone else in the class do, though? Oh, God. I heard tens. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That sounds like my accounting teacher. <laughs> oh, God, I sure um, am looking to college in the fall. Yay! Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Good lord, man. Mm. Good lord. But yeah, yeah that... Uh, <sighs> Anyone else got some silly college stuff? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll bite. It's a similar, similar situation. Man, this accounting teacher I had... Oh my god... He was the most frustrating person ever. Like, he was clearly on tenure. He clearly didn't really care about his, you know, what he what he did. He just mm-hmm. kind of um, read off the slides mm-hmm. and, like, word for word. And, like, he'd speed and then, like, important stuff. He'd be like, okay, this is important. You should review this. And then they'd just speed through it. Like, he wouldn't even <laughs> read it. He would just skip through it. And, people, and then he'd be like, and they'd, yeah, and then he'd be like, any questions? And then no one have any questions because everyone's fucking dumbfounded. And there's like, man, I must be a pretty good teacher. And it's like, no, no, you're you. not. I have a question. What was on the slide that I was supposed yeah. to remember? I have a question. Yeah. Can you hold the slide longer than two minutes, please? And when someone asked a question, he would just go back to the slide <laughs> and read it again. <laughs> oh, God. I, like, and he'd be like, do you understand? And obviously, as a student, you can't be like, no, what the fuck are you talking about? You just you just <laughs> nod mm-hmm. and smile. Mm-hmm. God. But it's this dude, okay, he was bombarding the class with questions. And I was, mm-hmm. like, the only one that actually, like, read the book. So I was <laughs> answering them. Um, But he still, he, like, still gave me shit that. for having, like, a B- minus in his class, which oh was annoying. God. Um. Which was one of the highest grades in the class, by the way. But if, if, if one of the highest grades is a B minus, yeah. top five is a B minus, you're not doing the right thing as a teacher. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Like he, honestly. um, yeah. So he was bombarding everyone with questions, and then when we couldn't, he couldn't answer. Nobody could answer them. He's like, he's like, you know, you guys have really challenged me this semester. Just thinking, oh, tell us what your fucking reading skills. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like, bro, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I ended up getting an A, and I can't complain too much. I ended up getting an A in the class, so, because ah, of the, the nice. last final. The last final. Yeah. But yeah, so that's my college door. Okay, hold on, my dogs are fighting. I'll be right back. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. 
along those lines, I've ne- I'm fortunate enough to never have had a like all my teachers so far. They're passionate, mm-hmm. but passion does not mean a good teacher. No, I know they care. The teacher and the- and passionate can be passionate about failing students. Yeah, at least my, all my teachers are oh, passionate teacher about Max, what... I need to they, tell him about how my class was so bad we made a teacher retire. Jesus Christ. I want to say this, though. My chemistry teacher... Mm-hmm. She she has such a thick Russian accent, bro. It was so hard to fucking take my notes. She's like... <laughs> like, I, I didn't know what... I didn't know we were talking about jewels for, like, two lessons until I... Until the word came up in the slides. I'm like, oh... Oh, no. <laughs> what did she think you were talking jewels, about? The, she like... was busy talking about Joel's, okay? <laughs> Wait, I was like, what Joel, the fuck is a Joel? Like, the energy Joel. Unit or yes, the energy. Jewel? Oh, okay. Is, okay, I'm like, Jewel, like, energy unit or Jewel the fucking rock? I don't fucking know. Jewel the fuck. <laughs> or the vape. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro. I'm sorry. Bro. But on those lines, man. I'm sorry I'm not rich enough that my parents could send me to college without working for y- taking a year off. <laughs> I thought yeah. you said, never mind, we're not going into that. But mm-hmm. the point yeah, is sure, that sure. When I was dumbfounded when I looked at my chemistry grid because I was 99% sure I failed. And I'm like, when the fuck did I get a C plus in this class? I got an email a couple Damn. days ago saying I was about to fail. Huh. That's because well, I guess everything worked out. Yeah. I talked to my cousin with the class. She helped. She tutored me through. And she said, nice. like, my class had the craziest schedule she's ever seen. We had so much physics in the first half. There was a chapter of organic chemistry. She was like, what the hell is your class doing? You know? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. it was fucking wild. And then I kept, the yeah. final came. I'm sweating bullets. Open it up. This shit, easy. What the hell? Nice. Nice. <laughs> so some bullshit. Ugh, college is something else, guys. It's- oh, yeah. Pray for the good professors, pray for the passionate ones, avoid the bad ones, like the plague. Yeah, rate my professors, I've heard, is a very good resource. God send, bro, God send. Yeah. So, what about this teacher you made retire? So, yeah, Kyle, I I mentioned this. Um, My sophomore year of high school, we had a teacher, and I won't tell you his real name, but it was uh, the same as a common classroom uh, instrument. Let's call him Mr. Ruler. It's not his real name, but you get the idea. Like his name, you know, Mr. Ruler, Mr. Pencil, whatever. Similar idea. Um, you know, he's an older gentleman, you know, and, you know, um, oh, what was the short? Um, I can't remember. You're somebody saying, right? The short yeah. dude uh, from the Bugs Bunny ca- uh, cartoon. Constantly the, fired pistols, pistols in the air. He was like that. <laughs> But, but you know, bald. But he had the beard. But the beard, you know, beard was white. You know, because he was older. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> he um, I don't, I, I don't remember what it was. It was something like his mom didn't have enough calcium, or she smoked when she was playing <laughs> with him, or something. So his fingers weren't fully formed. Oh my! What the fuck? So like certain fingers were like half finger, you know, half a finger. Certain were like just you know little snub, and, and, you know, just try. You know, it was eh, about five six. You know, big. You know, bigger gut. You know, um. Yeah, I'm just trying to give you a picture of him. And so he was an interesting character. Mm. And by that I mean he was part of a biker gang at one point. Oh. Um. And like the good, the good kind. With, oh yes, like, the like, hell's he went around, angels. <laughs> yeah, like the ones that went around and like um you know put up uh you know like uh the Mongols put up around um like uh, veterans funerals. You know, mm. like those kind. Like, you know, I guess during the seventies or something. The seventies. <laughs> when like, when, when I, I, when, were I know, notoriously when... respected for how kind I, they were. Yeah, exactly. No, no, but like anyway, so and he made he this class was easy. I mean, stupid easy. Like, if you took, he gave like a quiz like every other week. But if you took the quiz and answered every question, he'd give you a hundred. Oh my fucking god! Right? 
<laughs> and they were like, you know, four or five tests out, of, well, five or six tests out of the semester, right? Yeah. And those he actually graded. But there were so many quizzes, it was almost impossible to fail the class. Guess what? Nice. He had people failing the class. <laughs> wow. We, I don't know. I like history. It was, it was, you know, it was world history, so it's a pretty, you know, you, we cover everything in broad strokes, nothing in too great detail, and I prefer de- greater detail, you know, in my history. The nitty gritty. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I like the details about, you know, more specific things, you know, uh, so, you know, I'd ask questions, he'd be like, yep, yep, you'll cover that more later, you know, probably cover that in college, you know, sorry, you won't cover it here. Hmm. You know, I liked him. Relatively nice. He liked to yell a lot. Because, again, somehow there were students in this class that were failing a sophomore <laughs> fucking world history. In Fuck. the great state of Georgia. In Georgia. Georgia, bottom text. It was, yeah, it was ridiculous. So apparently, and, apparently, and he had, you know, a couple other medical issues that I believe were more old age more than anything. Mm. Um, apparently, like, his left foot or something was inflamed. Oh. For whatever reason. And, you know, so he was out for a couple of weeks and we had a substitute. He came back for a few weeks. And then, um, again, somehow people were failing this class. Mm. And he yelled at us. And apparently we were the most stressful. And he used to be a, a college professor. And then he got tired of that, I guess. And was like, nah, I'll do something easier as I get older. And, you yeah, know, something like that. So he's only at the high, yeah, right? High school. So, like, so like five or six weeks yeah that seems like a long time a few weeks yeesh oh sorry um so you know like i want to say like five weeks before the semester it was like the fall semester he just he you know he just quit <laughs> oh he, he told just... us he told us you know when he was he yelled at us pretty much daily you know mm-hmm. towards the end and that's probably what had to do with his stress levels. But his doctor told him that he was having, you know, that his, you know, whatever he was doing was so stressful that it was making his leg worse and he couldn't get better while he was being that, you know, while uh, this, it was this, he was in such a stressful environment. You guys were actively oh. trying and he to was gonna, an early grave. Yeah, pretty much. He, he was going to finish out the school year, but no, we ended it. We ended him a semester and a half early. Wow. Oh, like, God. Yeah. I mean, we, he had like what us and like two other classes. It wasn't. It was a block, so he wasn't. Um, you know, it wasn't a whole lot. I gotta go. A second, my uh, girlfriend's calling me back in just a couple minutes. Alrighty. Right. Well, well, Jesus, he wins on my worst teacher ever. Actually, no, he can't beat um. Remember our geom? You remember geometry teacher, Mister O. Let's call him Mr. O'Toole for the time being. Who, uh... Yeah, sure, I remember him. <laughs> I was supposed to have him, then he got arrested. <laughs> I met him freshman year! Oh, God. <laughs> I think you're not a girl. <laughs> Mr. O'Toole's in the clink for a while, guys. Yeah, oh my God. How many years did he get? I think it was nine. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's still in jail. Prison, same difference. Damn. Oh, my God. Let's throw jail. Oh, or, wait. <laughs> oh, jail. Oh, right. Mr. O- Mr. O'Jail's better. <laughs> yeah, Mr. O'Jail. Don't diddle your daughters, kids. Nope, nope. Don't I don't get it. I don't get how people can fucking do that. Like, especially in a position like that. Like, as a fuck teacher is wrong with you? too. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Like, mm. man. I'll never forget, though. He yelled at the class because some yearbook people came in here. He was like, You all are all distracted. And in that same what? lecture, he talked about the ancient Indian um uh, chant so you can remember how to calculate oh, yes. the lengths of a triangle. So katoa, so katoa, bro. That that guy had some. Don't. Ooh, he had a rubber banding personality. He had some screws loose and some bolts <laughs> loose, and he was falling apart <laughs> <laughs> so much that he had to go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking loony bit. That's not half a loony bit. The bed open. <laughs> Just the, no, actually, just the bin. <laughs> just, just the bin. I hear they don't treat those kinds of people well in prison. No, no, they don't. Oh, his ass oh, will get beat up. 
Yeah, I'm sure he's gotten his fair share of beating. <laughs> he might be someone's prison one. <laughs> no, though. Probably, probably not, actually. Yeah. Oh my god, bro. I. Oh my. Some shit just happens in life for you. You just don't even realize how ridiculous it was. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? You know, if I had a nickel for every time a te- for every teacher that I had get a to be arrested for something, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot. But it's strange that happened twice. Yeah. Are you talking about um Mr. What's, what's McKay? Be? Yeah. Man, that's that was a that's a real that I feel bad for him. That was that, that was a shitty situation. How yeah. do you mess how do you mess spelling a first name wrong? You messed that up. Bro, like, bro. That man had to beg for his job back to be a middle school band director. Yeah, like, oh man, and his reputations for, like, an entire, entire, like, four years is trash. I feel really bad for him. Like, yeah. despite how much he yelled and stuff, he was a good guy. He was fun. Yeah, he, he was fun. I remember he took some kids, uh, some kid was playing with, like, I don't remember what he's playing with. I think he's playing with a toy car or something. Oh my god, that reminds me of my sister's in his class. Oh, really? Yeah, she told me some stories. (laughs) But yeah, I remember he took this kid's car, toy car he was playing with. He went out the side door, and he just tossed it out of the rain. (laughs) The kid went to go grab it, and he closed the door, which locks automatically. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like, bro, oh my god. I can't with All right, What teacher and what grade is this? Mr. And eighth McKay. Grade, Mr. McKay. You oh, had him, course. Ryan, for a year. Seventh grade at Geats. Geats. <laughs> yeah, Geats. Geats. Wait, Mr. McKay? <laughs> yes, we're at code name. You know, oh. code name. Uh, put it in the group mm. chat. Jeez. Oh him! Yeah. yeah. Oh, he was crazy. Yeah. Uh, he was just, <laughs> he was oh yeah. Oh, okay. God. Um. Yeah, he didn't like me. Um. Th- have we told? Have we talked about what uh, subject he teaches? Uh, but, yeah, so. mu- band. music. Band. band yeah. Yeah. Middle so, school band. Um. I I just want to share with everyone. I played trombone. Um, wow. I wasn't good at it. I could, you know, I see the note on a certain line. I knew what position that was. Right. I couldn't tell you what, what, like, if it was A, B, C, D, E, F, or whatever. I just knew, okay, the notes on this line, play, put it in this position, blow this long, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I was it. passable. But, you know, we had, like, those weekly, you know, weekly we'd have, um, you'd pick, like, one instrument a day or whatever, and something like that. And, you know, he'd, we'd have the lessons and he'd be like, you know, I mean, play this note. And I looked at him and he'd look at me and I'd just stare <laughs> blankly back at him. Because he got to the point where I had no fucking, like, it wasn't that I had no fear of him. I was, you know, scared of, but I didn't know how to react. So I just kind of looked at him with this blank look in my eyes. <laughs> and he goes, fourth position. I said, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like I and you know the thing is the only reason I wasn't last year I again I could play I could play not great but I could play the only reason I wasn't last year is because when we had the day we you know the special lesson where we were supposed to be testing who who got what position yeah uh, one guy didn't show up <laughs> oh. so that's why I wasn't last year nice. Nice. yeah that was always that was always terrifying I did I did percussion yeah uh-huh. so, yeah. Uh-huh. I, got, I, I think remember. Lowest, I remember. I think, wait, no, we were in the same class, but uh, I remember. Oh, bro. Yeah, I, but um, I actually, Ethan, didn't yeah. you remember you you had to go to my lessons because you played like the bass, bass clarinet, clarinet or something. Yeah, I was yeah. big brain. First time we had to do clarinet positions, I'm like, wait a minute, what the? I'm all the way at the bone docks. Fuck this shit. <laughs> I'm playing yeah. a unique instrument. Get up close in front. I look smart now. Go. I love there bass clarinet. First it's, and last. First and last. <laughs> I prefer first. first. Yeah. One out of but, one, um, baby. I was, I was always like in the middle. So I was like, like sixth, seventh, eighth out of, out of like twelve, 
yeah. uh, fourteen and six or and sixteen. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was that was a little. I remember like there was a there was in the, for the sixth grade band teacher. I did like for some reason I did my playing test on the symbol and she let me and it was with the mallets. So I don't know how <laughs> accurate it was. So it was like it was like going. Like I, I don't know how to. You guys get it. It was, it was like yeah, ringing yeah. instead of like you know, you know, like a crash. A, a, bam, yeah, it was, it was like a crash. Yeah. yeah, and I remember for one of the songs, I was playing the cymbal, mm. and I was doing like I was, I was with the mallets, mm-hmm. and she didn't stop me until like, <laughs> until like the fifth day we were playing it, and she's like, "Oh, Kyle, you need to be using your sticks." And I'm like, what? <laughs> you didn't tell me. We've like, been what? doing this for a week. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, oh Mr. McKay was, was super nice. nice. Yeah. yeah, she was, she nice. was nice. Go. Um, what's funny is, so there was there was like two. Um, when Mr. McKay, remember he had the heart attack. Mm-hmm. And yeah, no, in the middle of a grade? lesson two. Yeah. Was oh that my wait, God. wait, wait. Was that eighth grade? No. It, yeah, I, it was, yeah. I think we were in yeah, it was. seven. Yeah, it was. It was the Eight. it was the winter one because oh, uh, yeah. we, didn't, we didn't get to go to McDonald's in the yeah. winter because Mrs. Uh, the the other teacher was um didn't didn't let us go. Yeah. But um for winter cons, so it used when Mr. McKay was there. Um, uh, me and this other guy, um, Josh would fight would fight for the snare drum. Like, we'd fight <laughs> to get there first. Okay, wait, wait. And then when the other teacher showed up, everyone would, we would all fight for the bass drum because it was just the two of us, and the snare drum would always get the most attention. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What was, what was the other kid's name? Josh, but... Oh, okay, but was he that's like... A, that's a fake name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my okay, God. I know. There's one kid, and I'll say his name. He was first trombone. His name was Andrew, and he oh, was I know him. I know him. He thought yeah. he was like such big shit because he could play trombone better, and like he'd always pick on me like after the lessons or whatever. And, like, and it was always like lessons, and then we went right to lunch from there. It was weird. <laughs> um, oh, so and he'd always be like, "Haha, I'm better than you." I'm like, I I looked at him like I do not give two shits. Yeah, it's that's trombone <laughs> in. Sixth grade band. I couldn't care less if you paid me. And he's like, well, I'm still better than you. I'm like, I don't fucking care. I almost beat that kid. The I piss in your trombone. I, yeah, I was about to take the case and bam, whack him on, <laughs> whack him on the back of his head as he walked out and watch him. Bam, bam. I had, to beat, I had to beat him unconscious and then some. Honestly hated that kid. You don't suck yeah. much. You attack from the front. No, no, I didn't knock him upside the head while he was looking. <laughs> That's oh, he doesn't. Des- he doesn't deserve my respect. He doesn't deserve to get hit in the face. I was gonna beat him upside the head. Is there anything more of a bigger trip than fucking high school foreign language class? Oh God, I was in honor oh, Spanish. I was. Did in- I, I think oh, you might have. Dude, I, I think I might have told the story of Kile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. that, shall I tell it again? I think you I think have. You definitely told it in the first podcast. Yeah, yeah okay. But yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, for any viewers, basically, she pronounced everything phonetically. She didn't have one for me. Like, she called, like, Charlie Carlos and stuff. She didn't yeah. have one for me. And then she's like, one day she was like, Kile, and then... Um, then everyone was fucking laughing, and then she was like, hey. she was like, legitimately confused, like, why? It's a phonetic pronunciation. I'm just like, holy shit, this is gonna be a long year. <laughs> it was, it was a very long year, bro. Kyle, Kyle. let me tell you, it. it's not that big a deal. Tenth yeah. grade Spanish two, I somehow mm. passed that shit with a ninety, and I didn't know how to speak oh, a lick. Of Sp- no, I did. I don't know how to speak a lick of Spanish. I was oh, so God. pissed off because my friends, um, they didn't have to take the final, but I was two points down, so I was like, God damn it, I have to take this fucking final! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. damn. Bro, I just, like, when it came to the speaking por- portion, yeah. I was like, study this word if she asked this question, study this word if she asked this, or study this one if she asked I had the sentences planned out, I got all that shit on deck, man. Nice. And nice. we had... I'm pretty good. So- I think my favorite. French, so. Yeah, yeah. I think I've, I've my... been there a few times. I need to go back. <laughs> oh god! My favorite part of the class was that we had so much time, and the, like near the end of the class, me and um two other friends, 
We watched Who Killed Captain Alex with the volume oh. on. Love Who Killed Captain Alex. That's, he deserves an Academy Award. Who killed the Captain Alex? <laughs> you no got the movie. Is. I have no idea what movie, that movie, is. Movie, movie. <laughs> Get ready. Action is coming. VJ Emmy on <laughs> mic. <Okay. laughs> YouTube. Lost. We should all we should all watch Captain Alex. Oh that that could be a funny That would be a hell of a react. Yes. Jesus. Okay. Man. If, you if missed Brian's out on never a lot. seen it before. Oh yeah. my god. Uncultured swine. Oh no. Yeah. How could you not know about the great films of Wakaliwood? Wakaliwood. Oh my god. Oh my god. There was so much passion in that movie. This first action movie. Yeah. I mean, the story behind it's pretty good. I've seen the I Hate Everything video on it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know. I Hate Everything kind of fell off. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I never really watch his new stuff, I always watch his older stuff. Yeah, I think I same. A couple of those back in the day, I could all tell you what it was, which videos it was. Bro, I was binge watching his Cool Cat series. Like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was a good series. <laughs> that was a. F I can't believe he was beefing with the director. Yeah, <laughs> who's gonna take criticism? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro! Oh god, the internet can be a glorious place, and then the next page you click on is someone dying. <laughs> Well, you know, it's wallpaper engine. Wallpaper engine. <laughs> and the next thing you click on is... A lot of porn. A amount of porn. <laughs> a lot of porn on wallpaper engine. I can never get over those reviews. You go on the wallpaper engine reviews. 1,000 hours played. So much porn. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I was like, wow, I don't need Google anymore. I got this. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, that junk and jazz is funny, man. So, let's see. So, uh, Kyle, what have you been up to this summer? Oh, he's dead. Well, what have... Oh. Hmm. Well, what have you been doing in this summer in the meantime? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, in the meantime, um... I want to talk about some more driving shit. Some stuff has happened to me recently. Been driving and... No, God, no, but... Uh, so, I was driving down the road, and they turned into a three-lane highway, you know? Uh, or is it a road? Route? Oh, it was a route. Three-lane route. Traffic lights? This van in front of me tries to jump into the lane over. I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? I look down, and there's a car accident. I'm like, shit. All of a sudden, an ambulance blares. We woo! We woo! I was like, Jesus Christ! And then I try and fly into the lane over, but the light's red, and I'm halfway stuck in the lane. And that oh, ambulance man. is horning me like I'm supposed to put my truck in four-wheel drive and drive over the guy in front of me. Like, oh my <laughs> god, bro. Get moving, bitch! I need to be nah, there! Well, I can't nah, get out of here! Nah. So I look down, there's a car accident. Light turns green, ambulance drives past the car accident. I'm like, you motherfucker. You fucking what? I know, but where, where did he go? I don't even know, man. That I has, I was like, you son of a bitch. You have some incredulity. Did that get out of the like, way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Drives past car round. accident. I've got a different car accident to go to. That's yes, bro. That I caused somehow. <laughs> <laughs> bro. You know what's happened a couple times where I literally see a, an identical copy of a car? Yeah. yeah. Driving by, right next to each other, same make and model, and color. Mm. Yeah, that's, down here we call it an F-150. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Ford or Ford. Ford or Ford or. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God, yeah. Down here it's just Ford, Ram. Truck, truck, Actually, truck. Quite, quite a few more uh, Tacomas than you'd expect. Tacomas quite are good. A, quite a, Lovely yeah, I know. Things. Toyota, you know, you don't expect people to actually. What's wrong with Toyota? Georgia. Nothing's wrong. It's just in Georgia, you. It, it's not American made. Yeah, it's not no. a Harley Davidson. It's not, not a American. real American bike like a Harley. <laughs> be on the, the side of the road like a truck. 
Anarchist. <laughs> yeah, that's why I drive oh, the fat God. boy named after two bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah. With my prolapse that my prolapsed asshole and my glorified paint shaker. Uh, I didn't need to hear that second to last putt. Ah, uh, too bad. Yeah, really they could have done with that second to last putt, dude. Cry I about it. Wah, <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro! So many people be playing here. on the roads. Like, unironically, you guys know about the Legend of the Hood Ultima? No. Uh, no. Oh my God! It's a 2012. It's always a 2012 Ultima. Fucking aftermarket bumper, always unpainted, so it's black. And that mm -hmm. motherfucker's going a hundred, swerving through lanes like there's no tomorrow. Of course. Yeah, that fucker yeah. zipped behind me. I was in the fast lane, zipped behind me, zipped, made it to, overtook two people in the middle of an intersection during a green light. I'm like, what's you motherfucker? Like, I get bent out of shape when some, someone changes lanes between an intersect intersection. Yeah, like, geez. yeah. You really not, you really shouldn't. I mean, I think technically, at least down here, it's technically not illegal. Um, but it's just not a good idea. Yeah, yeah some people would have legit, unlike the highway, legitimately have no regard for anybody. Not even themselves. Yeah. They just yeah. don't care. I need to get there five seconds sooner. Oh, I need, yeah, I need to get there first, and I don't care if anyone dies on the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I need to meet the people who think the indicator is some grand switch that allows them to change lanes without any regard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my indicator was on. I had to. Do you know how many times I lost? Fucker. I had to slam the brakes not to get clipped by someone. Mm. Oh, yeah. Man. I'm not impervious though. I made a pretty nasty accident, pretty nasty mistake though. I was oh, really? so I looked behind me, right, right late, trying to change lanes to the right. Well, looked behind, a okay. Made started making the turn. Turns out that lane was it, was it was a three lane road going into a two lane road, and I was merging when it turned into two lanes, and there was a car mm. in the third lane, and we kind of nearly met in the lane. Oh no! And yeah, I, I avoided it with. Epic skill and power. Nice. He hit the gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he man. hit the gas. No, yeah. so that, that was, that's, that's like, um, this is in a section near my house where, you know, it goes from like two lanes on you know, each way. And then it's, there's like a three way light. And it's just like, you know, you know these businesses, you know, um, your Domino's, your Papa John's, mm -hmm. all that shit, a couple nicer places in the neighborhood or two. You know, and then it just ends, right? You know, one intersection mm -hmm. just ends. It's a three way. You can turn left onto a back road. You keep going, and it's not necessarily a back road, but it, you know, you know, fifty feet of the inner, you know, getting to the other side of the intersection, the lane ends, mm -hmm. and then suddenly you're, you know, in a very hard right turn. If you're going forty five, you're just about to drift. I don't care what you're in. If you're going fifty, you're gonna drift. <laughs> kind of hard right <laughs> turn. You're gonna drift and the off speed the road. And the speed limit's forty five, and then immediately. You go into this massive left turn. It feels like you're about, you know, like, you're an exiting, uh... Oh, uh, fuck. Um, a highway? No, uh, yeah, a highway, God. A I, highway I, off-ramp. Yeah, it's it's like a highway off-ramp, but, you know, but more ex aggressive. And you, you go, you know, you're going in it, and you start to come out of the turn, right? Mm -hmm. And then you turn some more <laughs> to the left. <laughs> oh, so first man. you're going into this... You know, first you go from two lanes to one lane, then you're turning harder than you've ever had to turn it before, and then you go going left, you start to come out of it, and then you still go left a little bit more. Bro. And it's just like, oh, the first time I ever did it, I didn't know. <laughs> I was in my two, I'd, I'd never gone down there before. I said the first time I did it, I'd never done it. Can you imagine it? <laughs> um, yeah, no, I went down there going like 50 in my 2009 Honda Ridgeline. Ah, uh, yes. Truly. And someone was coming the other way around that corner. Who boy! <laughs> I should mention it was also like six forty in the morning. Oh, that probably yeah, woke them up. You're half awake. Yeah, yeah, they were awake. You're half, half awake, awake, drifting. And... <laughs> yeah, now I'm really awake. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. I've I've done some shit that almost got me dikes and like um I have a habit of pulling out uh really Pull fast. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. 
<laughs> it's exactly what you think. No, um, <laughs> because you know I'm I you know drove my dad's 2009 Honda Ridge line for like three years, you know, in high school, and then for, you know about a year out of uh, high school. And then mm-hmm. you know it's got you know it's from New Jersey. It's got four wheel drive. You know it all wheel drive. It's get, you know all wheel drive. Excuse me. Yeah, you're not Thank getting you that. You are not getting Sorry, away from all, that. Thank you. All wheel drive. You know, so it doesn't skid. It's gonna accelerate as fast as you want it to accelerate. You know. Now I get in my you know my mom's 2019 you know Ford Explorer that does not have all wheel drive, and you're gonna hear. <laughs> I'm trying to get out in front of a fucking semi truck turning right, <laughs> and this uh, semi truck is just slamming his brakes anyway. Right. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry. I was beefing with a semi truck. <laughs> that... Don't beef with the semi truck. They're Bro, gonna win. I have every. Right Usually to they'll win. I have every right to. The mother. I was in the full the fast lane. This motherfucker nearly ripped my bumper off going into the fast lane. Ooh, I'm like, you son of a bitch! And he overtook a car and went back into the slow yeah. lane. I'm just like so uh, angry at the fucker. Yeah. Uh, it was you like, I had to, it. like, I'm sure not to slam my brakes in this lane, asshole! <laughs> yeah, you're in the fall of you really should just. You might slow down a little oh. bit, but you keep fucking moving. Oh man, I lost. Oh man, some people don't understand how the fast lane top speed, which yeah. is none. It's the passing lane, so you best be passing people. Yeah, man, I get. Oh, well, if man. you're going to cruise, anything I've done that I've 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 told Ethan, you know, I've cruised in the left lane because there's either you know at one point I was going to visit my girlfriend and it's like a three hour drive and at one point I'm on the same lane for sixty five miles, you know, same uh, you know search highway for sixty five miles. So yeah, you best read Eva. I'm gonna get in the fast lane, set cruise control for ninety five and a sixty five, and I'm gonna sit there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> But um, if someone's got an, you know, some jacked up pickup truck has an issue and comes up behind me going faster than I am, well, I'm going to get my fat ass over to the right man. and get back over. Because there's no reason. I mean, even if you're sitting in there, if someone comes up behind you that's going faster in the far left lane, you're yeah. not going far enough. You're not passing anyone. Mm-hmm. And, as soon, and if you are, as soon as you're finished passing that semi truck or whatever, you get over. You know, yeah. you don't sit there. Yeah, if no. there's someone behind you, that's you know you, you can see to the faster vehicle, man. I exactly. Hate, I, I don't, and I don't care what the speed limit is. You can see to the faster vehicle. Exactly, bro. I have God, lost, I, way too passionate about that. I have lost count of how many times I had to pass someone on the right lane. Some and like yeah. I think half the times I tried to, it goes wrong. Where it's like, okay, yeah. I'm about to try this. you know, because someone's going yeah. like 55 or some shit. And I'm like, oh no, damn it, I'm stuck behind him now. Well, yeah, I guess I the, better. Yeah. A lot of people don't have speed control, like they say. Speed control. They, well, no, I mean like general speed control. Ah, like they just gonna hold their foot in one spot and. Yeah, they just and then they see that someone passed them, and mm. um, they just start speeding up. Like my dad used to take uh, when he took me home uh, to college, um, at like eleven o'clock at night. He'd be mm-hmm. passing people, and then they'd suddenly speed up and pass us again. <laughs> and it's like, and it's like, okay, what, what's the point of that? Yeah, yeah nice I, I passed you. What, yeah, I passed you. What's the point? Although to be fair, it, it is pretty fun to get in a pissing competition with those jacked up big, you know, I'm not redneck gonna trucks. Win. In my two, well, no, I'm not going to win either. In my 2900 Ridgeline, <laughs> but it's funny as shit to see people get insecure about the, you know, 2018. You know, uh, Ram yes, 1500. My lifted F450 it's got the V8. On a- Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's my funny as hell to get into an <laughs> and, and again, I never, you know, I never, you know, just go up to someone and, vroom, vroom, you know, I don't do that. Mm-hmm. But uh, if you make eye contact, and, and again, that same section of road is like a quarter, half a mile, you know, going the other direction. It's, you know, goes from two lanes to one. Here's the thing it does that right in front of an elementary school. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so when people don't get over, when they, and there's a sign. You know, but if people don't see the sign or they don't get over fast enough, they're turning into the bus parking lot of an elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> so people, so I'll be, and you know, Bro. you know, right lane goes away. So I just, sit, sit, you know, I sit in the left lane anyway. You know, there's no reason to go up and, you know, get in front of people. That's just an asshole move. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's only like two miles to the next, not even two miles to the next light. You know, but you know, I it's just so much fun seeing you know 
giant pickup truck. I did that, and I did that with a classmate of mine. It's, it was like an eight. It was like a nineteen nineties, you know, jacked up. When I say jacked up, I mean like the bottom of the. You have to climb on the vehicle. tire to get in the cab. Yeah, that kind of shit. Like you have mm. like you better have a fucking step ladder to get in that. Ah, uh, yes, and the wannabe the SEMA truck build. <laughs> exactly. But here's the th- you know what makes that a little bit better. What? This motherfucker was like five six. It's <laughs> <laughs> not, not shorter. I mean, I I'm not tall. I'm five eight. You know, mm. I'm pretty much the definition of average height. As last time I checked, I thought so it was five nine. Motherfucker, it's we're going with five eight here. <laughs> okay. Kyle, how tall? Kyle, how tall are you? Uh, six foot. What? Yeah. <laughs> yes. What? He actually he is. You were short in elementary I know. school. I was, so, I was so short. I was so short. I suddenly shot up in, in like uh, at the end of high school. Bro, and ironically, the first time nobody I, saw me. <laughs> for the first time I met you, I'm like, what the fuck did you eat? Yeah. yeah. I God, I should have eaten the fucking broccoli if it would have made me six <laughs> feet tall. I, didn't, I don't eat broccoli. I eat fucking pasta. That's... <laughs> Shit, man. No, I love is... pasta. That's why I've got the fucking... You got it. Eight, at 19 years old. <laughs> you almost said eight years old. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah, <bro. laughs> I am six foot now, so. <laughs> God, I'm the So we're going with five eight average height. Great. Thanks for clearing right. that up, everybody. Yes. I'm above average, as you guys know. <laughs> as everyone is well aware on the Alpha Male podcast, we're yes. all plenty above average. Yes. <laughs> all the. All the commenters, I'm sure I were. <laughs> I'm cut above the rest here. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Dude. But your stories remind me. Of my commute, man, it is not a hard one if you no. know what you're doing. Because, right. there are. Because for example, going on my commute, first exit I have to take is a left lane exit. I nearly witnessed 10 car accidents. Oh, jeez. Yeah, because some people are like, one go or Ugh, so far. So only I've been only doing it for like a month now. Mm-hmm. Cause so many people think, ooh, a new lane. This highway's widening. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't want to go to New Brunswick! <laughs> oh god, not, god, not, not New Brunswick! Brunswick. <laughs> you go to Camden. <laughs> Camden! <laughs> oh, because that's so much better. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. And then there's a there's another exit ramp. Now, I've done that exit ramp going 80 miles an hour in a pickup truck, and it's barely leaned over. And yeah, I've met so many people that... Bl- I've met so many people breaking and going 45, and I'm ready to blow exactly. a gasket. Like, come on, you slowpoke! Where are you to go? Yeah. Oh yeah, my there's, god, there's plenty. I, I'm in the mountainous region of Georgia. There's plenty of turns where people be like, you know, going 45... Then, you know, there's a turn. They'll hit the fucking brakes. The next thing we know, we're going 30 around the turn. Bro, I saw someone... Oh, my God. L- Listen, <laughs> I know... But, you know, like, and if I do that, I just I let off the gas, you know, slow mm-hmm. down. I might even slow down 10... This turns I'll slow down, like, 10 miles an hour, but I don't touch the fucking brake to do it. Mm-hmm. I just let off the gas a little bit. Yeah. And people don't understand that that's how you're supposed to do it. Let off the gas, not just slam on the fucking brakes to make a turn. Yeah. I know some exits have stop signs, some highway entrances on ramps have stop signs. I've mm-hmm. seen someone stop on an egg, a highway on ramp that did not have a stop sign. And I'm just oh, going, geez. what are oh, you doing? God. This ain't yeah, a road some... to cross. Yeah, it's, it's keep moving. I'm guilty of, well, not that, but the similar, like, uh, there's a couple of roads where, like, you know, it's you know it's an intersection. You you know you can go right. You know you yield, but it's a whole new lane, so you don't mm-hmm. really have to yield if you don't want to. But like mm-hmm. I'll go come to a slow stop and yield. And my mom's like, "Keep going, keep going. <laughs> That's not a stop. You have a new lane. Keep going." And people are like you know, <laughs> hum, you oh, know, man. once or twice, every people are honking like, "Come on, you dumbass." I think but, the, the, my biggest, my two biggest mistakes in my commute were um, there's this turn. It's like literally a jug handle, sharp left, sharp right. But it starts gentle, and then you're nearly cranking your wheel. So the mm-hmm. so it goes the speed the road speed was like forty five, and on the turn it's going like thirty five, and I sometimes have to hit it at twenty five. Yeah, because it because the turns are so sharp and they're so opposing. It's literally like left. Wait, it's left, right, left. Dead ass, man. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, man. 
I so, I actually went I went from the fast lane to the slowest lane on one day. <laughs> to yeah. one. Oh, shit, stop! Stop! Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, I, I, think, I think I think I think I probably mentioned this last time, but there's um there's a really wi- really incredibly windy road um to get to my high school because it's in the middle of nowhere. Like it's literally built on what used to be what is currently a farmer's land, <laughs> and there are cows <laughs> on the way to my high school. Um, yeah, it was it's great high school. It's in the middle of fucking nowhere. I mean, that's Georgia for you. In No matter where you are in Georgia, you can be in the middle of nowhere, you're 20 minutes from Walmart, I swear to God. Wait a minute, Gosh, this isn't a high school, this matter. is a cow shed. It's both. <laughs> um, I'm kidding, it has good Wi-Fi. Um, anyway, yeah, so it's you know really windy road, it's like 35, right? Yeah. Um, If you're not going 40, people are tailgating. Oh, oh man. If you're going 45, people probably won't tailgate. If you're going 50, it means that you're following the police officer on his way to the school. <laughs> I, I swear to God, I followed because you know we'd resource officers, you know, and just you know just the officer, you know, that's always there. I swear to God, I follow, and you know, the elementary, middle, and high school literally. Oh my God! Walk literally like in the same square mile, you know. Mm. Um. And each one's got a resource officer. I followed the one that goes to the elementary school. That motherfucker goes <laughs> 55 on certain parts of that road. Because there's one part that's like straight away for like maybe 200 feet. <laughs> People fucking go. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, and I'm like, and after that, I'm like, I'm no longer worried about getting pulled over for speeding on this road. <laughs> Bro, Any I... other road, mm, I'll watch out. I have, not on yeah, I have violated so many speed limits. Like, <laughs> my cruising speed... I, you mean speed suggestions? <laughs> speed su- exactly. <laughs> I catch... There's a, again, going on to my my um school, there's this road that's 45 miles an hour. I go 80 down that fucker. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just fast lane, 80 miles an hour, like, huh. Yeah, the slow lane looks like it's going 50-something. <laughs> no one wow, goes this 45. car is going really slow. No one goes 45 on that road. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. You'd yeah, cause I'm a car um, accident. I'm in the um I'm, I'm kind of out in the middle of nowhere right now. Mm-hmm. Um and like I I went to see trains today and it's all it's all like back roads to the crossing and I'm like like it's a 50 mile per hour road, straight road, nobody ahead of me. I caught myself doing 80. I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, facts. It's like when you see no one there, you're just like, I can lead into it. <laughs> into a little Uh-oh. bit. Next thing you know, you're going 50. Yeah. Yeah. There's, uh, yeah. There's some cars where it's e- incredibly easy to do that. I said incred- incredibly easy to do that. <laughs> you know, like. Oh, yeah. man. And it's fun, too. Like, going fast is fast fun. Fast is fun. Yeah. Well, and then you yeah. realize the your own mortality, and you're just like, well, shit. Yeah, then you always get an accident and you drive safe for another week. <laughs> Going fast in a car that can corner fast is also lovely. Mm, yeah. yeah. It's a very different yeah. ball field of going like, oh yeah, man, I'm at the maximum limit of this car around this turn, versus, oh, I'm going 80 down the highway. Oh god, was that a police officer? <laughs> yeah. That holy crap. <laughs> Bad idea, bad bro, idea. Slow down, slow down. Bro, I just had yeah, like, attacks where I see a police officer on the side of a road talking to somebody. <laughs> oh shit, I'm the only one on this bitch. <laughs> nah, if there's if there's a police officer like on the side of the road already pulled someone over, you're safe. Go fast. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the, what's he gonna do? Stop arresting that per- uh, stop giving that guy a ticket to come after you? <laughs> He's gotta finish that before he deals with you. Uh, so as long as you're not doing like a hundred, you're probably fine. I don't yeah. lean into it, I guess. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, driving is fucking wacky sometimes. Yeah. Especially at it's these fun. gas prices, man. Oh yeah, I got I filled up half of my tank and it was fucking forty four bucks. Man, for three fourths of my tank I'm leaving eighty dollars lighter. Yeah, yeah, I took I I used my dad's card because I had to go get groceries and I was you know. I took my dad's card for the groceries, and like I just went home like, yeah, you're 80 bucks cheaper on gas money. <laughs> I filled up the ridge line while I was out. 
Jeez. It was literally on. It, it, it literally had like twenty miles left. You know, oh, to you be, got the to light on. It was running. Yeah, I had the light on. It, the light goes on at thirty. It was on the, like it was at like twenty two or something. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I, I <laughs> fill up. It's like, and he isn't he, for like ten years. He thought that that fucker was like a sixteen gallon tank. No. 20 no, gallons. it's a twenty gallon tank. <laughs> he yeah, just never let it same get here, that low. Bro, same here. He never let it get that low, and I'm it's like, buddy, gallon. I'm talking to the man. <laughs> Thank Dad. He's Look. like, no way. I'm like, oh, I spend the money on gas. Believe me. Yeah, man. I know the price of a twenty gallon tank religiously now. Mm. Yeah, that's that's not fun. Oh. <laughs> It is when it's not your money. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, when I mean, you're I'm unemployed not... and it is your money, it is not fun at all. No. Yeah. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> you commuting to college? In this me economy? Or... Oh, me? Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's like, it's the, the they've got like five, um, five camp, well, like three campuses and two that are like sites. It's like a couple of buildings. Um, hmm. But, like, the farthest one's, like, 45 minutes away. The one I'll be going to, the biggest one's, like, 30 minutes away. It's not bad. Uh, so, it's not like I'm commuting, like, f- you know, 45 minutes. Now. I mean, in traffic, it'll probably be 45 minutes. But, like, you know, hmm. 30 minutes to class isn't bad at all. Well, so. at least in these trying times of inflation, the Costco hot dog will always remain strong. Of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> then, oh. And... To be fair, it's gone down. It was it was peaking five dollars for a minute there, but it's gone down. Oh uh, yeah, yeah it went it's gone down to like four, yeah, four eighty, forty two. I'm like, oh boy, it's down to four eighty two. Thank God. Oh and, man, you know. I actively called that cheap one day. I was like, dang, it's yeah, really I, cheap. Oh my God, what yeah, happened like, to me? Yeah, like oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, my dad's like, yeah, when I started driving back when I was sixteen, you know, seventeen years old, it was like a dollar twenty for a gallon <laughs> of gas, like. Like, oh, that's what it was yeah. when it was COVID. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, when it was COVID, that. it was like a dollar thirty-two. I'm like, hell yeah, brother. I'd like I to sh- drove like there was no fucking tomorrow. Special shout out to <laughs> I- OPEC to OPEC plus trade war. Thanks for making gas prices go in the negatives. Yep. Oh, wow. The price of oil went in the negatives. It was literally cheaper to sell it at a loss than to store it. Jeez. <laughs> shout out to the trade wars. The That's real the heroes of the economy. Shout out to my brothers. <laughs> OPEC. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that shit's fucked up, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So recently, me and Tythos have been on an electric car kick, talking about EVs and trucks. Yeah, oh, of course. And, um, you know how you know everything's a debate, everything's up to opinion, but no, we found a winner. Right. Yeah. Oh, we, we, we legit looked at the numbers, looked at the stats, and yeah. for like a Couple grand more, we've got a winner. Yeah, mm, really. It's Especially, better than well, not not the yeah. best in every category. It's a but jack like, of all trades. Jack of all trades, master yeah. of pretty much all of them. Uh, ah, well. it's best at a couple things. It's it's there's only a couple things where it falls behind, and even then, if you're falling, you know, like in the towing power is like a thousand pounds less, but it's like eleven thousand pounds of towing versus twelve thousand pounds. Towing. If you're towing eleven thousand pounds of towing, which by the way. A long boat, or not a long boat, a oh. boat that's like 27 to 32 feet is about, you know, 12,000 pounds, 12,000 feet. Mm. So if you, you can right. tow a 27 foot long, so, you know, it's like, oh, I can't tow my boat. Yes, you can. <laughs> Odds are, yes, you can tow hey. your 27 foot long boat on this. Look, you if know, you're brave 11, enough, those pounds. numbers are just a suggestion. Exactly. Right. Exactly. If you've got real ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Electric vehicles are unique. I, I think they're they're lovely, but they're luxury items at this point. They're Currently, not practical. We, yeah. They're not no, practical. I mean, you, this truck we found could be practical. It's it just not. Ex- the, it's for the just, price, it's not. For the price, not. it's not. For the capability, sure. For the price, it's not. It's yeah, uh, the, the Rivian. What is the, the RTS? R one T. R one T. R one T. There's oh, there's a T. There's a one. I was close. You yeah, said the S. Rivian. Sure. <laughs> is the other one the R one S? Is the that's an SUV? SUV. Yeah. That thing looks like a boiled horse. <laughs> it's insane. I am not a. I'm not the biggest fan of um EVs. of uh the people that I like. I like the Teslas and stuff. Oh, it's man. the people I hate. Oh, so, I, I saw... get like these shorts recommended to me. Fats, and obviously, bro. obviously it's talking. it's people it's people whose first car is a Tesla. I know. And they are so irritating. It's I... like, 
You just, oh, Elon, why didn't you fix this? Borg, There's fucking Borg, ice on a car, Borg. and it's like, are you kidding me? And then it's just like some complaining about how they had to fill up their washer fluid, and oh then they, they put, they open the washer fluid in, and then they pour it in without a funnel. <laughs> they just fill it all over their fucking front or whatever. Okay, here's the thing. First of all, that's unexcusable. Second of all, though... It was a line cook. You bet your ass I can force something without a fucking funnel. So oh my I know. God. I know, but <laughs> if you if you first caused a Tesla, then you probably never worked as a line Bro, cook. But I'm gonna not. defend myself. As a line cook, I've done that to my mom's car without a funnel. But it's yeah, because I, mean, I was a line cook for a year and man, a half. There's I know. a Tesla sure. in the student parking you lot. Know? Yeah, it's crazy. The stupidest one I've seen is someone like like shocked that they have to wait in line to get supercharged. And it's like, <laughs> wow! It's almost like people need power to power their cars? It's a hot car. Oh, almost like you're not the only one in the concept. world. What a concept! Like, wh- Bro. I, mean, I feel like... Wow, it's are- almost like it's... Yeah, wow, that's crazy, considering the people that use gas cars never have to wait in line. Never! Ugh. Never! No, no I've never happened. waited in line it's to never get Never waited gas. at the pumps. Never, wow. not at all. Zero. That's ridiculous. Never. You can't imagine waiting to charge your vehicle. I think yeah, the worst the driving. I feel I saw one that actually got me understanding the, the mindset of this these Tesla owners. It was a short where the guy was like, "I don't get why people hate electric cars. I drive home, I get to plug in my car, and every day I wake up with a full tank of gas. And of course, the car has a custom EV only, bro, license plate." Jesus where they crazy. spent like a thousand dollars to have some stupid thing written on them saying, oh yeah, it's wow. electric, bitch. And you, you are the reason why Tesla owners are so stupid. You are like the, the, ex- you are the Joe Blow of the idiot Tesla owner. You don't understand anything why people don't like or don't have electric cars. They're expensive. You need a garage to have one livably. I mean, it's, mm-hmm. unless you live within 10 miles of a supercharged state and your apartment has a goddamn... A goddamn, what you call it? Um, parking, parking garage. garage. Thank you. Parking garage. Then you can't have an electric vehicle, so you can only have them in the suburbs if it's convenient enough. Mm, not, to, not to mention, every 10 years, the batteries are roughly ruined. Just like how your iPhone battery gets shitty after a couple of years. Same thing with electric right. vehicles. Only it's a lot more expensive to have that shit changed. Seeing as they're disassembling now, the chassis. Like- I yeah. think me and Pi have had this discussion, and I would like to note, let's not get back into that, but at my, we have differing opinions, mine being, okay, 10 years, the average lifespan of a family vehicle is about 10 to 11 years, and, you know, they get a new vehicle, that's, you know, anywhere from 30, 40, you know, 50, 60, you know, $100,000, depending on, you know, the vehicle, so, 20000 for just the battery, isn't as bad as, you know, 40000 for a whole new vehicle. I'm not saying it's a great steal or a great price, you know. I can see or that. that the, or that it's going to be worth it, you know, after the 10 years, maybe the rest, the, you know, the car's got other issues that need to be. And again, you know, there are, you know, just like gas cars, there's a point where mm, it's not worth saving, you know, it's not worth saving this anymore. Sell it for what you can, get a new vehicle. Right. So I just want to point out that there are different views there. And thank you for letting me. Talk, yeah. Ethan. I know that was yeah. hard for you. Yes. <laughs> well, my thing is that the best thing to do to reduce your carbon emissions is to keep an, an old car going longer. It's been proven. Mm-hmm. Uh, and electric cars actually, um, a study was done by Volvo, who make like an electric version of a, a sedan, an SUV, and they have a gas powered version. And they found that it takes roughly 90,000 miles traveled before the electric one has a minimized carbon footprint. And those 90,000 miles are assuming that you get your electricity from a coal plant. Mm-hmm. So yeah. the electric car starts off with a hell of a lot more carbon emissions compared to the gas car, but over time it crosses. Yeah. And the thing is, is like mm-hmm. every that's ninety thousand miles worst case scenario. Uh, yeah. I think right. twenty eight thousand if you get your stuff from Eco Peace wind turbines. Yeah. So the right. thing is, which, that's every, not bad. which is not, but, but it's, every but time, I, I get what you're saying. every time you change that battery, you're you have a large setting, spike yeah. in your carbon emissions. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. you're. Yeah, this it's is... not like, oh, you own a Tesla, suddenly you're saving the environment. No, you own a Tesla, and eventually Yo. you'll be help working towards minimizing carbon Better. footprint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're not, it's not like, oh, you drive a Tesla for 9,000 miles, you've saved the world. Exactly. No. 
that's the problem it's with Tesla. I just see electric cars as luxurious trinkets. They're lovely, they're fast, the technology's not there yet, and they depreciate like falling pianos, and that's why I see a 2012 Tesla for $25,000. Oh, shit, they made, them, they made them that early? Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I didn't realize the that either. S. I think the ah. first Tesla was 2008, and that was based off a of Lotus Exige. Not an Exige. I, see. I can't remember. Uh. It's a Lotus something or other. It's the other one. Mm. Anyways, well, dogs being a bitch at me, I gotta uh, let them out. All right, yeah. but I do want to continue this car talk. I like car talk, and I have a problem with the JVM good, market. Talk. Oh, sorry, what were you saying? Car talk is like podcast. You know that, right? Yes, I know car talk podcast. We're alpha males. We talk about manly stuff like combustion and driving. So I don't have a problem with the JDM market. I've been looking at that. Like, like man, I kind of want to have quick, some... For the, for the um, um, less informed of the audience, uh, what is the JDM market? Japanese domestic motor is essentially stuff like um, a bunch of Hondas, um, Mazdas, Nissans. Usually early... Okay, early two of those in my driveway right now. What's your problem? <laughs> like late 90s. Actually, oh, yeah. 90s stuff, 80s stuff, that kind of stuff. And some stuff okay. earlier, too. It's really nice vehicles. Um, of course, you'll have people like the RB fans, the 2J fans, you know, people who defend Toyota Supras like there's no tomorrow, thinking they come factory with like 12 billion horsepower and can smoke any Lamborghini. And I hate that so much. I I was looking the market for a vehicle, right? Hmm. And I found a Corvette C7, a C6 Corvette LS3. It's a good, it's the good engine LS3. All the LSs are pretty good, but the LS3 is like king of customization. LS3, twenty five thousand dollars. Now I'll, mm-hmm. I'll juxtapose Ooh. that with a nineteen ninety three Mazda RX seven, two hundred seven horsepower with a nineteen nineties automatic slush box transmission for thirty thousand dollars. Ooh, wee. JDM, the reason why JDM has such a cult following is because you're getting a cheap car, very customizable, so you can yeah. buy it for 20 grand, spend 10,000, and now it can drive like an $80,000 car. That's the kind of ROI yeah. you get with the JDM market. Not anymore. You're, there's a high no. tax now. You're paying 30, 40, 50. Don't look at the super prices or the skyline prices, man. Those That's criminal what they're charging for that stuff. Yeah. Because. The fact that you can buy a Corvette, a performance model, the C6, 2008, big LS, 400 horsepower, 6.2 liter V8, for $25,000 and have it drive like a $60,000 car? And I mean, it's an LS. They're reliable and you can go to a fucking auto zone and get another like 100 horsepower easy. Yeah. The LSs are amazing engines. JDM is horrifically overpriced. And I feel like the problem with a lot of car, the car community today is this hype tax? Yeah, you know, like it's like just because. Oh yeah, just because I can take your car that you're selling for twenty five thousand, put ten thousand and have, you know have a drive like you know eighty thousand car like you said. Just because I can doesn't mean I'm paying you for it. Yeah, you, you know, especially if you haven't put the modifications in, I still have to pay for the modifications. Just because I can take it and go do that doesn't mean I should be paying you. That's stupid. It's like you know, I saw the worst one, like another RX seven. 70 grand i'm like just buy a corvette no i'm Jesus not paying that Christ. money i'm not paying yeah, that money. that's what jdm suffers from they're good vehicles they're lovely they have not amazing engines most of the time but they're just yeah. overpriced right now the market's just taking a fat dookie on them like i get <laughs> that um used car prices are going up and it's outpacing like um inflation right now but when that kind of markup is that's baffling. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, that is so much more than even the used car market increases, man. Hmm. It's like they have cult followings, so they're paying the hype tax to look like the cool Instagram car guy with the RX seven. Or bro, I saw a uh, NA Miata. That's like a nineteen ninety Miata, right? Yeah. Thirty grand. Thirty grand for that teeny oh, little man. thing. I don't know. Hell no. I know, bro. It's criminal what they are doing, man. It's like, just because you could doesn't mean you should. Well, you, know? you have to pay someone else for the hype. Yeah. I know. It spits it's in the face thing. of why JDM got popular, where it was a cheap, really easy, modifi- modifiable vehicle 
that can drive well above its asking price. Not yeah, anymore. Exactly. Not anymore. Not at these prices. Mm. Yeah, man. That's... It's a conspiracy. It's a, a cabal. Hmm. You ever deal with something like that where you just see something that was like well respected, but it's like I don't care how much of a cult following you have, you're just overpriced right now. Um, AKs and <laughs> ARs. I hate to make, I hate to bring guns into this. Sorry. Oh dear. Um, but like, yeah, you buy a. Oh shit. Okay, that water. That water. Sorry, I knocked over my water bottle. It's got the crappiest cap ever. <laughs> um, but it's fine for in the house, and I just knocked over on the floor. You know, on my power bank for my laptop charger. But anyway, totally two world fine. wars. I've returned. Return of the king. Returned. returned. Yeah. So, uh, that you, Ethan was just talking about, like, the JDM market. You're suddenly, it used to be, you know, cheap cars, you know, $20,000 car, put the, you know, another 10000 and you've got it driving like an $80,000 car, and it's great. But now you're paying, you know, $30,000 for the car, and you still have to put $10,000 in for it. And you're paying, like, a hype tax just because you can upgrade something. Uh, because... I mean, you pay someone who's selling it to you. Even especially when they haven't given the upgrade yet. Yeah, the hype tax mm -hmm. is yeah. fucking stupid because it's like it has a cult following. It's clearly worth the at my MSRP of eighty thousand, bro. That's a Toyota Supra. That's a bone stock nineteen ninety three Toyota Supra. That yeah. thing got smoked by the my pickup truck. Yeah, it's not even funny what they're doing with these prices. And yeah. yes, if I had anything similar, I said pretty much, um. Uh, you know, AKs and ARs are both like, mm -hmm. you know, you buy some, I mean, you can still find them super cheap, don't get me wrong, you can find them super cheap, but it's still like, you know, ridiculously expensive for a gun that really didn't cost all that much to make. And, right. you know, you can customize it pretty easy, you can have something real, like, especially, you know, so ARs, you know, an AR-15. Uh, again, if I say AR, I mean AR-15, not like assault rifle. Um... Ah. Just for clarification here, um, you know, like an A15, you buy like eighty, hundred dollar stock, you know, eh, hundred fifty, two hundred dollar scope, eh, maybe change the handle, you know, the grip on it, but mine already has an uh, aftermarket handle that's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. um, trade out, well, you know, yeah, trade out, yeah, um, <laughs> you know, change the full grip, and you can have, you know, something really awesome, you know. Practically mill spec, ooh, you know, Scary. Um, you know, for you know, relatively cheap, you know, all for less than a thousand dollars, you know, or mm. you could buy the whole kit and caboodle in one go for like five thousand dollars. Like I could put that together, you know, myself for you know, maybe thousand five hundred, you know, two thousand dollars. Right. You know, it's 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 the same thing. You know, same thing with AKs, although. I don't know so much about AKs, so I won't put my foot in my mouth there. But definitely for ARs, it really doesn't take that much. And then, I I'll admit, I don't know how to actually change the foregrip on mine. It seems like it's attached to, you know, it's locked in by the front sight block, and I'd probably send that to my local gunsmith. But, like, <laughs> you know, other than that, I could take, you know, one screw off of the handle, a couple screws off for the butt stock, and, you know, I get, you know next thing I know, I've got an adjustable stock, and... Oh boy, it's easy. Nice. Wow. So, yeah. Oh, Kyle, I don't think I've ever told you that I. Oh, I. By the way, I also yeah, I own was... an AR-15. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Since we've last. I talked. was. I was. I was confused because I think I miss. I misheard you. You. I thought you, you was like. You're like. Oh, I'm not talking about the gun. I'm talking about AR-15. I'm like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so I was man. very confused for a second. Yeah. Um, that's my brother. That's not me. That's my brother holding it, and I, after I just put the scope on it, so oh, it's cool. uh, it's I got it used for like five hundred dollars. But again, use five hundred dollars through like a is a hundred dollar scope on sale for like eighty bucks. You know, slap mm -hmm. that on there. You know, and it's pretty nice. And I don't know why the hell he's putting it on his shoulder like that. Um, <laughs> he's about he to become a pirate. Stupid. Yeah, he looks pretty, yeah, real smart like that. I, I can't defend that shit. But, you know, <laughs> um, yeah, its nickname, at, and again, I use its nickname at the local gun shop was like the Green Weenie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because, like, because it's just, and you can't tell. And, yeah. Green Weenie, that's funny. <laughs> I'd laugh with you, but I've spent my time laughing at it, yeah. 
And on and he's like, yeah, sorry, we got and, and I and I gave I'm, I gave him pretty much the same reaction. He's like, yeah, sorry, we got lazy with the naming convention. It's another AF fifteen. What do you want from us? Like that's uh, cool, whatever. The green wing. <laughs> we got. Have lazy. I not told you that? Sorry. sorry. No. Yeah, no, it's nicknamed the Green Weenie. It's so yeah. Oh so, my god! I live in yeah. I live in Georgia, the great state of Georgia in the Bible Belt. So oh, it's really right, easy to yeah. get a gun down here. Um, <sighs> which, by the way, Kyle, that's a, the conversation. Like this is how we. I ended up getting a gun. It was literally me and uh, me and Ethan talking one night, mm-hmm. talking about, and he's like, you know, it's stupid easy to get a gun in Georgia. I'm like, really? How easy? And I was looking it up. And I'm like, all right, what do I need to do? What permit do I need to get? And then all I could find was concealed carry permit, concealed carry permit, concealed carry permit. I'm like, I don't need a concealed carry permit. I just want, you know, rifle carry permit, whatever, right? There is none. Uh, there is none. What the fuck? Yeah, you just I, walk yeah, up to your so, gun store. Uh, Hello, sir. I want that. Background check. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yeah. So I went in there and, you know, I went in there and literally I had this conversation with Ethan one night. The next day, I went to the gun store and said, hey. You know, I'm going through college, living at my parents' house. We don't have a gun safe. We're getting one. I want to get a gun. Can I look around for me? He's like, yeah, sure. Happy to help, you know, answer any questions. And the mm-hmm. dude was super great. I was there for like 30, almost 40 minutes and towards the la- in the last 10, you know, minutes. He was getting a little annoyed because, again, I told him I'm not looking to buy today, but soon. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, I held, you know, that AF-15. I held um, an M1 carbine. Um, I held a Galil. I held a Tavor. I held an I, well, no, I held it to void. I don't think I held an AUG. There was so much. I was just like, oh, this is sick. This is beautiful. I love this thing, you know. Um, <laughs> it was like a kid in a candy shop. And I apologized to the dude for a couple times for my, you know, uh, behavior because it was a little embarrassing. Um, <laughs> right. But, you know, super nice. And, you know, I go home and, like, I'm like, and I was like, wow, I can't believe it. I actually want the AF-15. I was really trying to get something, you know, a bit more exotic than that but no, I wanted the AF-15 yeah a bit more unique I'm like ah oh, fuck I'm an AF fanboy aren't I and then, you know go home bitch. <laughs> yeah I go home you know and I went to I went to my dad at a, uh, at a Cabela's you know that night because the Cabela's was open later than the local gun store mm. and you know my dad looked around but you had to like you know get in a QR code and make a you know an account or whatever and log in and you know sign up you know all this shit to, just to talk to a guy you know behind the gun counter Right. And my dad's like, ah, eh, whatever. We looked around, we looked at some gun safes, he went home. And he's like, I don't know. And we, we, I met him afterwards, so we dressed separately, and I stuck around. And then it was like, you know, 40 minutes before closing, and I was like, ah, there's no one in line, I'll make a thing. And I just, you know, logged in, gave him my phone number, email, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, two minutes later, like, you know, Ryan, I'm like, yeah. And we talked, and I said, you know, go, told him the same thing, you know, hey, you're not going to buy today, I'd really like something, you know, um, you know, I want to get a gun, preferably bolt action, you know, just target shooting for fun. I'm not, not looking to go hunting or anything, so I don't really care about weight or, you know, anything. I just want something nice and accurate. And he goes, all right. And he goes, how about a Ruger 1022? And of course I knew what that was. Every gun buying video says you get a Ruger 1022, the great. You know, a little semi automatic 22, you know, great little fun thing for plunking, teaching your kids, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, this is nice, you know, and it was, it was really nice. And I was surprised by how much I liked it. I'm like, yeah, I kind of want one of those. But I do want to look at a bolt action. Because so I like bolt actions, you know? Right. Um, because, you know, I was in the rifle team for three years in high school. We, I was pretty fucking good <laughs> at it. And I, I'm just used to it. So, um, you know, and he's like, hey, how about this? And he shows me another one to take in the suit. And I'm like, all right, thank you so much for all your time, your help. Um, real quick, you know, what do I need to do to get a gun? What do you mean? He's like, oh, well, I looked online. You know, I'm like, well, I looked online and... You know, I you know I couldn't find anything, but what I needed to do, or bring you know any papers I needed to bring, anything. he's like, no, 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 nothing online, nothing, not, nothing like that. Go. Like, oh? He's like, yeah. And older gentlemen, like, and I say older, I mean older than me. I don't mean to insult anyone's age. Um, mm-hmm. And he's like, no, no, no. You just come in. You know, you take a gun. You know, we, you give us some information. We run a background check on the, I don't know, whatever. It was some like six letter acronym or whatever. You know, FBI site or whatever. And right. you know, it's gonna look at 98.9% accuracy and, you know, yada yada. And, you know, you get that comes back clean and, you know, that takes maybe, you know, 15, 20 minutes and, you know, comes back clean and you, you know, you walk out of here with a gun. Like, that's fantastic. Huh. Thank you so much. So that Saturday, I went to the gun store with my dad. 
My dad picked out a gun. I picked out a gun. My dad got his little, he got a little Canic pistol. Um, uh, Canic mm-hmm. Met, a Mete. I'm not sure which one it is. Really nice pistol. Um, and I got my and he's like, and you know, he did my dad first. And then he's like, by the way, similar names, same address. He's telling me, you know, his mind's going to, he's like, you know, similar names, same address. Um, you know, it might take a couple business days, you know, to mm-hmm. go to check, you know, because, you know, make sure it's not the same guy buying, you know, two guns really quickly. And I'm like, oh, God, because I was like bouncing with excitement. Like I was I felt my heart, palp- uh, you know, palpitating in my chest. I was super right. excited. I was practically bouncing. I was like, I'm getting my own gun. Huh? Yes, finally, you know, word of the years, you know, and <laughs> I'm like oh god, and then like two minutes after that, it's like, all right, you're clear, you know, <laughs> check out over here, you know, pay up. I'm like, oh, right, thanks, you know. So it really is literally just that easy. You answer like, you answer no to like 15 questions, and you're good to go. And then, have you ever yeah. stolen a gun? Are you a felon? <laughs> no, it's more like yes. you know, it's like it. You know, uh, basically, yeah. You know, so the similar line of the question is like, you know, are you court ordered to not carry a gun? <laughs> no. Are you are you a citizen? Yes. Are you an illegal immigrant? No. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's like, are you currently on meth, cocaine, or other you know, or other judgment impairing drugs? No. <laughs> it's like it's like a dozen, fifteen questions. It's like. If I answer yes to any of these, I'm not gonna gonna. I'm gonna say no, you know. But anyway, <laughs> you're gonna get yeah. arrested. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's uh. Also, I should mention because it's funny. There's like you know a, a little preschool, right? Uh, you oh know, God! About 150 feet from the gun store. <laughs> 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 and you walk into the gun store. They got this, you know, big, great big sign that says. No loaded guns within a hundred yards of a school or something like that. There you go. That's it's like no, know. you know, unload anything you can before walking in here. It's like yeah, like literally it's in a little strip mall right behind there is the preschool. I'm like, oh, oh my, my god. god, America I bottom text. I could throw a walk from the from the gun store and hit a preschool. Jeez. Jesus wow. Christ. Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> so. Speaking yeah. of this America bottom text ass thing, yeah, ever, Texas just voted to secede or some shit. Ah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. No, they voted to put a, No, 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 no. They voted. It was something like they voted to put a motion before the, uh, before the, whoever rules fucking Texas. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Greg like Abbott. Texas. Wait, that's yeah, the, the California the guy. No, what? Gov- that's wait. That's Governor Newsom. Yeah. That's- anyway. It was a p- proposal to put a thing in front of the, like the Senate of Texas, um, or whatever the uh, governing body is. I don't uh, know the te- it's Texas. They're weird. I don't remember. They're stupid. Um, and um, you know, it's a motion to put in front of them that to talk about it in like twenty twenty three. So it's not uh, the next at least six to eight months. Um, I still don't get why Texas so is on this seceding beat. Oh, it's, like, it's because they specifically put in their constitution that they could if they really wanted to. No, they can't. But, and here's the yeah, exactly, they can't. And yeah, part I of the, and like I've read like essentially, and because apparently there was a Supreme Court case about this decades ago, and it, they basically ruled, um, no, you, the Civil War happened, and even during that, they were still considered states under rebellion, not. A set sovereign country. They were just states under, you know, they were rebelling uh, and fighting back uh, with militias and all that. But they were still states, part mm-hmm. of the union. You know, they just weren't receiving all the great benefits like unpaid health care. Unpaid yes. health care. Uh, yes. Medicare for all. The true dream. Oh, that reminds wow. me. Did you guys read the. Oh, jeez. Did you guys read the, the uh, Texas Republican GOP? What we stand for, papers. No. I read like two lines of it and had to stop. But uh, why don't you share that with Kyle? My God, let me hold up. I want to. Jesus, can Enjoy someone pull them it. up? I and... love politics. This, yeah, this is the kind of thing you have to. 
Get you know, what, what, whichever this. side, yeah, whichever side you you're on, I don't care what side you're on. It's just, it's just interesting. Hey. We're getting you know thoughts at you. Someone linked the text. It's <laughs> we're all from New Jersey. Guess what we are. <laughs> mm. Oh boy. I'm gonna, oh, Kyle. I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna. I'm gonna assume your political lines here. Although you can assume, I'm from New Jersey. You can assume all I, all you want, but I have an AF-15, so that goes. Back. I do not involve myself in politics at That's all, but I will get it. Now you have. To. Yeah, it's yeah, no, scary. I'm not saying you have to on, you know, podcasts. It's not a great idea either. Right. Um, I just feel like, <laughs> but like you know, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in 19, gotcha. we have to vote. So you, I'm not, yeah, yeah don't share anything you don't to... want to. But do vote. You, you know, yeah. be informed and vote and all that. I, jazz. I was legitimately shocked at what I read. Like they were on like. I think the wackiest part that stuck out to me was like, we will not engage any road narrowing California programs. I'm like, oh my God. And I do remember this because this sparked a, the car, the electric car debate between me and Ryan. Oh God. Where oh. I, I was talking about how bad Texas, like the Texas road network was, especially in the cities. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it took a while, but I finally had to say a city should not be as walkable as a suburb and then that went into electric cars, and essentially oh, we well, finally ironed out like all the miscommunications because he was trying and to the say like, yeah, the miscommunication there was like I'm saying it doesn't matter. You can drive anywhere you want really quickly. It's there's a you know fucking highway running through downtown Dallas, you know practically. Mm-hmm. And, and no I was path, saying there's crazy. a highway running through downtown Dallas. So I'm sitting there like, what the hell is his problem? You know, and he's like, and he basically his point was. There needs to be more. It needs to be more. You know, smaller, more walkable, and you know, more public transportation. Not driving everywhere. So. Exactly. Texas right. is on that type beat where it's like, yeah, it's freedom for the car drivers, and I'm like, in this economy, with <laughs> yeah, these with prices, this prices, co- I'm getting a fucking I horse. <laughs> I love, I love the in this economy line. That's that's my fa- That's my go to line for a lot of shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, if, if whenever like some some foamers like oh what's steam getting restored not in this economy <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's true it's true but yeah well why it don't is. you get your millions of dollars and fix it yourself then yeah exactly yeah, facts, man i feel like that's the Can't thing cry. that stuck out to me where it's like it was like they're saying that road narrowing and making things more walkable and less drivable and they it's said that like, that's California stuff, and I'm like, you guys are so far up your own asses. Like, yeah, at this point, it's not a we believe this, they believe that, we're gonna fight. It's they believe that, we're not gonna believe it. Yeah, facts. I'm like, I'm studying to be a civil that's engineer, not- and being part of being a civil engineering is traffic engineering, which is like all the roadway stuff. There's a lot of psychology involved. Road narrowing is yeah. used to slow down drivers, especially in suburbs. Where you ever like you ever mm-hmm. be in a suburb that's too wide and all of a sudden you find yourself going forty in a twenty five? Yeah. That's no, they... never. <laughs> no. I watch for the kids always. <laughs> yeah, the... Bonus points if they're so on the what they usually do is um they bring the curbs in slow, which slows on the drivers because they feel all crunched in, which allows them mm-hmm. to make more bike lanes, more space for people to walk, and there's a whole bunch of other things that you know road narrowing can do. It's right. like. It's a be- so it's like a think I'm, of it like um a better speed bump where you don't have to deal with slamming your brakes or else you'll play pick up fifty two psychological oil pan. The, yeah. Yes. It's more psychological, it's keeping yeah, it's psychologically keeping it also, people in line without yes. like because it also if it's super wide and there's a speed bump, I'm gonna hit that fucker at thirty five and barely feel it. Uh, yeah. It also like it forces um, drivers to pay attention, which helps make roads safer. And I was shocked that Texas would throw away the science because California attempted to do that. I would like to yeah. say, though, that there's a neighborhood near me and it's got a back road running through it that turns into it. It's like, I don't know, I won't go through it. But, you know, they do, it's, you know, it's been built, it was finished, built in the past two, three years. And it's a pretty new uh, stretch of road and a couple um, neighborhoods. Um, and part of that you know they do what you said you know it's now and the first time i did it i, I went it was like real back road and something in this like nice development and you know it's got the little what do you call the fucking section between two lanes all the set uh, no um median 
Median, yeah. yeah Jesus median. Christ. I thought it was median, I just couldn't bring the, myself to say the words. You know, real nice median trees every five, 10 feet, you know, you know, nice. And, you know, the first time I went, I was like, wow, speed limit's 45, I feel cramped, I'm going 35, you know, maybe 40 on this, you know, it's, and it's also pretty turny and windy and all that. Mm-hmm. And then I started going that way because I was picking up a friend. It was, you know, th- he was on a back way and I went through that to one back. Well, I went from one back road to another back road, back to the main road, back to another back road to get to my high school. Um, and after two weeks of it, I was going fucking 55 and a 45. Jesus. Oh, jeez. I didn't give two shits how thin the road was. I knew my vehicle <laughs> could take it. I was going. So I think it works to a degree. Um, but if it's narrow enough to like actually keep people from doing that, then the jacked up pickup trucks aren't gonna fit. Right. So I think well, it you know, it's it's, it's also local city. psychology too. Exactly. You know, yeah. Not every that. not every driver on you know, it's it, like either whatever. coast in America thinks the same, you know? Yeah, well it's, it's psychology at the end of the day. It's yeah. all it's you have to it's a critical mass of stuff where so enough people slow down then we can eventually phase off shitty solutions like speed bumps. Because I lost count of how many videos I've seen vehicles catch air from one of those hidden bastards. Like, not even, like, the big yellow ones. The, the ones that are the same color as the road and shit. Yeah. yeah. Th- those are evil. Those are, those are fucking evil. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, they're also, like, terrifying. Because, I mean, you were talking about Miatas earlier. You know, I've got, you know, there's a 2008 Mazda Miata. It was my grandfather got it when he retired. But the problem with that was he was 6'2 and kind of of a big guy and it's a very small car so after a couple of years he just gave it to my mom <laughs> mm. who isn't a big person you know and could fit in it um so and that thing's got like mm, i want to say four or five inches of ground clearance it's low i mean you mm. feel like you're sitting on the asphalt then you get used to it and then you get out of the car and like your foot only goes down a few inches you know Bro, um so it's like terrifying so every time i the i mean the first few times I went over speed bumps. I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god! Do not let me, you know, scrape the bottom of this car with a fucking. Here it you know. comes. Yeah, Here it comes. Just, and then it's like, put them, put them. Oh well, I didn't hit anything. Next time I'm taking it faster. <laughs> you know, oh, I think that, I, and part of that might be like the teenage psychology, not necessarily. We gotta floor it everywhere. Normal. Exactly, that's not normal. You know, normal human psychology, and part of that is like with the fluid everywhere. My 2900 original. I don't know why I always specify. I always feel like I have to specify. Because <laughs> you don't um, want to be associated with the modern day ridgelines. <laughs> which well, we've established are the worst trucks on the market. Because they're a mid-sized truck with a performance of dog crap. The fact that mm-hmm. they're in the same league as a Ford Maverick or a, a Hyundai Santa Cruz, but they're, <sighs> the, but they're in the same categories as R- Ford Rangers and Toyota Tacomas, just... Mm, mm, mm. Anyway... Gotta, that aside, uh, just rub some salt in the wound. I'll rub salt in your wound. <laughs> you don't have a wound. I'm gonna make a wound and rub some salt in it. <laughs> I'll put like, lemon in your eyes. That. Oh please, I've already done that. <laughs> Not my eyes and my wounds though. Anyway, where was I? <laughs> really fuck. Oh yeah, yeah so I was getting like Honda Ridgeline. Yeah, when I was first driving that, I had like I had a job. I was working like you know. Two nights a week, ten dollars an hour in, in junior year. Ten bucks an hour is bank, you know. Yeah, because mm-hmm. your parents are covering your expenses and everything. Exactly. Other than gas and you know the occasional eating out by myself, you know. Um, you know. Anyway, I didn't realize how bad my mile. I was getting twelve miles to the gallon on a good day oh, because. The, and here's the thing: say what you will, it could accelerate. It could accelerate, you know, just as good as modern... Well, not, uh, not fast modern cars, but, you know, most, you know, your sedan, your, you know, other shit. You know, Generic your sedan, car your number pilot. four. Exactly. It could accelerate just as fast, if not faster. And again, there, there's a couple places near me where it goes from two lanes to one lane real quick, and I needed it, you know? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, at one point, I just kind of looked at that and said, wow, I'm... I sh- that's, that's stupid. I should be doing better. And I started, you know, accelerating a little bit slower, you know, coasting a little bit more on those windy roads up and down the hills and all that. Mm-hmm. Suddenly I'm getting, now I'm getting like 16 miles to the gallon. I'm like, well, that wasn't too hard, you know? Yeah. Um, and of course, it, you know what really subbed, rubbed salt in the wound? What? Um, my girlfriend's little, um, 
Oh, what the fuck is it? It's a food. Escape. It's, it's like a food. Yeah, the food Focus? escape. I think. I no, the know. escape. It's it, yeah. It's not the explore. The explore is like the regular mid size. It's smaller than the explore. I think it's the escape. Um, that motherfucker gets like twenty six, twenty seven miles to the gallon. Hmm. I'm like, you shit. She's like, wow, you must be going to the tank like every week. I'm like, yes, the fuck I am Facts. going to the tank every week. Yes, Bro. I am breaking the bank every single Bro, week. Bro, like, like, I had a car in mind, and I was like, wait a minute. I went back to Hyundai. I'm like, this car gets 65 Hyundai, miles to Hyundai, the Hyundai, gallon. Hyundai, Whatever. And they have a car not for sale. Hyundai, not... 20, like, 20-something 20 thousand brand new for, humor. like, 65 miles... To the that has 65 miles to the gallon. I'm like, I really don't like a 65 MPG with an 11 gallon tank. Oh, damn, man, you should have done it. These gas prices are wildin'. You should have. Oh yeah, done it. Oh yeah, uh, and the Miata has like, what is it? It's, I think it's like maybe an eight gallon tank. Bro, <laughs> it could have been <laughs> worse. <laughs> that thing, uh, that was crazy. Me and my mom drove that like from. New Jersey, all the way down to Georgia once. Because, um, like, we flew up there, stayed with the family for a week, and drove down. And uh, we almost ran out of gas, like, four times, because we would just be, you know, cruising on the highway and, you know, relaxing, comfy convertible, you know, and soaking up the sun. And holy crap, we've got five <laughs> miles left. We need to get to a gas station yesterday. <laughs> you know, <laughs> holy crap. Oh, so, man. That was terrifying. Ter- <laughs> That's funny. I mean, no, funny. It's terrifying, but funny. Circling back to electric cars, I mean, range yeah. anxiety, man. Yeah. That I mean, you don't have the same charge station as a gas station world nationwide, yeah. you know? And mm-hmm. when you're out, you're really out. Like, there is no oh, oh, yeah. five minutes at the pump. No, it's an hour or two if you're lucky at a supercharge. Yeah. Yeah. Man. And oh, electric yeah. cars are wild. Yeah, it's like, they're the future, they're not, and they're getting more popular, like, by the day. I don't think it's necessarily a near future. I, will, I mean, I will. Would tell you, it's like, oh, I don't think they're gonna happen by 20th, I'm like, I think if you got, you know, half the drivers on the road in a fully electric car by 2040, it'd be a miracle, you know? Yeah. I will half always. Half the drivers on the road on an easy What you could do, what is much more likely, is hybrids. Amen. Hybrids? You they're could get a lot more people to hybrids. Yeah, so phenomenal, a little bit of charge. So you know, it's 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 a conversion. It's like um, the halfway. You're getting electric acceleration with some mm-hmm. gas reliability. Yeah, and I yeah, mean, and you can run on gas if you need to. You know, you, there's gas stations everywhere. You get you know, and you charge when you can. And the other thing, and you know, another thing, it's like uh, it's like going from smoking a cigarette to a vape to not smoking theoretically. You know. Uh, mm-hmm. That's not how it actually goes. People, most people line of them, they no started with jewels. vaping. <laughs> the facts. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Um, you know, but you know, it's I a conversion. Right. You know, after they've had a hybrid, maybe even two hybrids. You know, it might some people some might take a while. Maybe they like the hybrid. People will eventually go to electric, and I think the key to that is just the manufacturers just need to start. You know, start There's... making more and more cars available in a hybrid mode without. There. Making it look like it's a hybrid. Look, yeah. The Prius has ruined like, the hybrid image. Exactly. It I just mean, looks There are some cool. hyper cars that are phenomenal at being mm-hmm. stupidly fast and tearing your face off around a corner. But when exactly. everyone thinks of a hybrid, they don't think of those. They think of a P- Toyota Prius. Not the new ones. A 2008 bug eyed bastard. Yeah. Exactly. With that my, weird fucking split. My weird, dad has a. a uh, he has a 2014 Prius, and I, he, uh, he, he unique. bought it, um, yeah, they're unique, I mean, he, he's getting, I getting really them. good gas mileage and stuff, and, you know, he, uh, you know, he hates the, he's, like, the complete opposite of, like, the stereotype, stereotypical Prius driver. Oh, yes, yeah, he pretty floors funny. it everywhere. He does, <laughs> at, legitimately, he does, like, <laughs> it's, it's funny. <laughs> Yeah, that engine war. It's a Prius floating in space. He says when he says when like people, a lot more. Pa- yeah, when he passes people on the highway, people get pissed and try to pass him because he's, <laughs> he's a Prius. <laughs> I'm getting know. beat by a Prius. Fuck that shit. Oh, I would have been yeah. pushing ninety. <laughs> like you're not passing me yeah. something. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
as ooh the sixteen again, I don't know. You were telling Ethan, you were telling me that Priuses were looking better and more yes, angular they in are. person. They're more angular. Ooh, yeah. actually, yeah, I see that. I'm looking at two side by side an older model and a new model. One, the newer model is definitely looking a bit more nicer. It's got they slim down on if they got rid of that weird section like with the wing slash um fucking foil or whatever you call it. Uh, if they get rid of that second rear windshield that's tiny, if they got rid of that, I'd be so much more up for it. If it looked like a regular sedan, well, or coupe, you know, right? Coupes, like it... it's it, it's still gonna look unique because that front looks unique. It's distinctive. I don't mind it. It's the back that I can't get over. And maybe mm. if I drove one and backed one up, I'd be like, oh wow, that's fantastic. I'd love it. Maybe I don't know. Probably never yeah. gonna find out. The in person thing. Probably never touched a Prius in my life. I have a family I have a member. Prius, I'll tell you. Who has one? They're, we don't talk about vehicles. Bruno. They're love Priuses are lovely now, not the old ones mm. though. But yeah, I do believe the future will be hydrogen. All right, there because electric. The problems are the battery, which is like good luck trying to fix a battery's lifespan. Yeah, you know? it's charge time again. Good luck. And faster charge times re- usually mean reduce the lifespan. The weight mm. again, more battery problems. Jesus yeah. Christ! Oh yeah, you like the front end of that Prius, huh? <laughs> Say less, bro. Ew! Look at that. What the hell? I yeah, they took the bumper off of that sucker. Mm-hmm. And um, that, it looks I've, like it I've, got I've ripped had, off. I've had spaghetti more organized than those pipes. <laughs> <Yikes>. <laughs> bro, I got a story after that, but I think hype um. Hydrogen is the future right now because it's more convenient. Mm. It's a lot less efficient than an electric vehicle. Hydrogen, you take your hydrogen, you convert it into a liquid. I mean, usually you take water. Electrolysis converts that into um, uh, hydrogen, compress it into a liquid. You put it in your tank, and then from your tank, it gets converted into an ele- into electricity stored in a battery and powers an electric motor. So it's kind of like a hybrid in that sense. Holy crap. Yeah. So, so like the just- 2021 Toyota Mute. Mira, Mirai? 50 grand. Mira? Yeah, and Hyundai Seven, has yeah. one. For 76 miles per gallon in the I city? I know. And it's, it's a... 71 on that? That's fantastic. I know. Try and find a hydrogen station. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. That, there's the point. That's worse than electric. Yeah, you thought electric, sp- electric charging was bad? Woof! Try and hydrogen gas tank. Let's see. In the state, how many can I... I found... California, one, two, Oregon... Just the West Coast mainly. Wait, how Maybe far? Maybe a little from bit in Colorado. Where am I? Anyways, so hydrogen is inefficient compared to an electric vehicle. You go, you're only getting you're getting a seventy percent loss, but that's on par with a gas motor. I mean, think about what you have to do to get gasoline. Build an oil mm. rig, float it out to the middle of the sea, drill down, get a well, pump the crude out of the earth, put it in a tanker, send it to a refinery, ship it across the other mm. side of the world to another refinery, turn it into gasoline, then put it on a truck and send it to a station, which will go into my car and get 30% of it put to the wheels. Mm. You know? I mean, it is and very how do you get efficient. nitrogen again? Hydrogen, get water, use electricity to heat it up, create, which does electrolysis. We have to find a place to get mm. electricity. You can't make it out of thin air. From there, you got the hydrogen gas. You compress it into a liquid. From that liquid, you put it in a tanker, send it to your station, put it in the station, and you can pump it in your car. The car will then convert that hydrogen into electricity, store it in the battery, and power an electric motor. Yeah. So it's kind of like, like a hybrid. Very efi- very inefficient in the grand spectrum of things, like compared to yeah. a car. I mean, like thirty five percent efficiency ratings for the average gas car. The hydrogen's about that same level, you know. Mm. But it's that convenience where you can just pull up to a station. Okay, I'm done, and drive off. Yeah, you know I mean, people are scared. Oh, it's hydrogen. It's like the next Hindenburg. Whatever. It's like no, no, it's not. It's like you ever see like those um. Oh, the humanity! <laughs> oh, God! You ever see those um fucking uh, concrete things they haul nuclear waste in? Yeah. You know, um, there's some videos of, like, trains smashing into them and them, like, dusting off and saying, like, see, not even a leak. Yeah, exactly. It's a, like, those like, hydrogen you know, tanks are on that level of eyes. lunacy. Yeah. It's, it's like, a... Re- lunically well-protected, you mean? Yes. And over-engineered and built, yeah. Yes, that's the. I'll glad. I'll be happy to see the engineers go mad on that thing. Yeah, 
we're not going to half-ass your safety with hydrogen. No, we learned the hard way on that one. Yeah. No, we learned how to do it pretty well. The hard way. We didn't suffer too much from it. The humanity. humanity. It wasn't even the deadliest blimp crash anyways. Airship, to be technical. Yeah, but like one dude yells out the humanity and suddenly we're talking about it 130 years. 100. Uh, I think, is it I think the Hindenburg was like original. It, it was in, in like New- the 30s, wasn't All it? I, I know it was I New think. Jersey. It yeah, was it in was. New Jersey, so yeah. we can yeah. claim we got that. that. We got a battleship. Yeah. We got, we got uh, the battleship New Jersey. Cra- we got we got uh, the, the USS New Jersey. Yeah. We got, yeah. got Bon Jovi, right? It's bon Jovi Iowa class, Disney. man. There's nothing bigger than the Iowa class since we sunk the Yamatos. Yep. We have Camden, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Bon Jovi, Bon Jovi, <laughs> Governor Chris Christie. Oh, wait, uh, no, Bill oh, Murray. Okay. Good Bill Murray. <laughs> <thing. laughs> oh, God, he said Camden. Okay. Yeah, I know Camden, New Jersey. Everything <laughs> falls apart. <laughs> we were talking like. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I feel. Hydrogen truly is the future because you're paying with that efficiency, with convenience, right? Mm. And you know what? <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, go ahead. I have a funny thing to share with you. Alrighty, alrighty. So yeah, the, you're paying with that, that efficiency the electric cars have over the hydrogen with convenience. And once again, we circle back to where, where do you get the electricity to turn water into hydrogen and just oxygen? You know, you have to separate the two molecules. Atoms, Jesus. You know, and it's like, yeah, in the idyllic future, we'll have wind turbines and shit to do that, yeah, but okay. realistically, it's going to be Grandpa's coal plant. Mm-hmm. You know, it is a shame. No mm-hmm. one's investing in hydrogen. Sad. And it doesn't help that um hydrogen truck company, Nikola, turned out to be a several billion dollar scam. Yeah, I saw the video on that. That was crazy. Yeah, I was like, For dang, shit. this... I was like, huh, right. if they take the hydrogen vehicles from the long haul and have electrics do the short haul, that could actually make, oh, dear God, they're a scam. <laughs> okay, it's, it's, I, I need to share this. I, I looked up good things from New Jersey, right? <laughs> I found an article from July 8, 2016. I'll bite. In great things to come from New get... Jersey, just in time for, quote, be nice to New Jersey week, end quote. Oh. So there's a be nice to First of all, First things first, there's a be nice New Jersey week. Second thing second is the very first line. New Jersey is so friggin' great, it makes me want to puke up all the while I just emotionally ate in the name of Chris Christie's front butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alrighty. Would you then. like to hear the next paragraph? Oh, I'm interesting. <laughs> the rest of the nation dumps on the Garden State constantly for being, quote, the armpit of America, quote. Which is insane, considering the people of Florida have not yet used their homemade possum tooth chainsaws to cut the state <laughs> loose and float away as an independent swamp country. <laughs> and he apologizes. I'm sorry when a New Jersey native is backed into a corner, slamming Florida as a panic move number one. <laughs> hey, bud. Fortunately for us, New Jerseyans, which is a term I hate, uh, July 3rd through July... Oh, that's coming up! Great. Oh, shit. July 3rd through July Set 9th. Some fireworks and... off. Smoke that wacko tobacco. Yeah. <laughs> Every firework I hear on July 4th, since it's doing Be Nice New Jersey Week, it's gonna yeah. be dedicated to New Jersey. All right? Not July 4th, it's Be Nice New Jersey Week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In honor of this brief reprieve from being labeled the trashiest sadness pit in the whole United States, I'm rounding up the greatest gifts New Jersey has given the world. <laughs> One, air conditioning. And the next sentence makes me uncomfortable, so I'm going to skip that. Two, <laughs> so many rock stars who are probably someone's dad now. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen, someone's dad. Bon Jovi, someone's dad. The Misfits, someone's Doyle Wolfgang von Dadenstein. I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. Carl Sagan is from New Jersey. Apparently. And he was born in Bur- Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Legendary astrophysicist Carl Sa- Se- uh, Sagan was born in Brooklyn, but was but it was that solid Rahway High School, Rahway High School education that gave him the brain tools he needed to mold America, the American space program. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, high school educa- education. Yeah, all right, okay, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. Okay, wait, wait. This next one's interesting. Edison. No, no, no. 
Game of Thrones, sort of. Huh? Let's see. Uh, author George R. R. Martin is from Brooklyn, K. Perhaps one frigid February morning, he gazed at the airport across the frozen Newark Bay and thought to himself, Oh, Newark Liberty National Airport, take me away. I want to see the world. Okay. Instead of hopping on a plane because air travel is hella expensive and children generally don't have income, Martin let J.R.R. Tolkien guide his mind on an adventure that would one day inspire all the weird sex scenes we have to sit through silently on Sunday nights with our families. Oh my god. Uh, Worse or better than the world is New Jersey to thank for Game of Thrones. How do we have New Jersey? He looked at New Jersey and thought of Game of Thrones? Okay. (laughs) I mean, it did say sort of, so by proxy. I guess. His source, his source for that is that he made it the fuck up. <laughs> right? <laughs> Literally. Oh, I like this one. Bubble Wap. Bubble, Bubble Wap. Wap, excuse me. Bubble, Bubble Wap. Wap. <laughs> back to 1950- Let's get Wait. back to 1957 in Hawthorne when Alfred Fielding and Mark Fielding, wasn't that a... Anyway. From the uh, and top. Mark, Let it name go. I can't pronounce, created a load of little air pockets between, the, between two sealed shower curtains and attempted to sell it as the world's Fugliest wallpaper. <laughs> Fugliest. The duo founded the Sealed Air Corporation three years later, and in 1961 realized they could use their product to gently ship valuables and dishes and mirrors and other fragile nonsense safely. Also, you, your friend... Also, your fiend ass is addicted to popping those little bubs and you know it. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> A lot of rap. Well, that just turned... Well, that's had a different turn. Turtleism is dead. <laughs> hey, uh, we are number three on solar panels in the nation. Wow. The other uh, two are Colorado and California, so uh, suck oh. it. Um, hang on one second. This requires gun safety. No. <laughs> um, I just need to make sure I know what this is. <laughs> okay. Um, Valium. Valium? V A L I U M. Wait, the elements? I, I don't fucking know. You know what? Well, it just is that, and you're welcome, trophy wives. We, okay. Oh, God, the Jersey Shore. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, we, yeah, Wawa and Be Nice to New Jersey Week. Everyone else can suck dick. What does yeah. Texas have? Nothing. Guns. Yeah, let's see how their guns yeah. will get out of their energy prices. Yeah. Them interbending right. kid having asses. <sighs> that was all the good stuff I could find about New Jersey. That was a short so We didn't even talk about well, Thomas Edison's yeah. plant or the battleship or a lot of stuff. Wait, isn't or the Alpha Ch- Male podcast? Exactly. Like, come, on. come on. New Jersey representation. Be nice to New Jersey week. Yeah. Good <gasps> fucking nice. Federal holiday. <laughs> God, I wish I was playing the school year and I knew this while we were still in high school. I'd give so much shit to my to my uh, fucking classmates. <laughs> like, you can't say that. It's be nice New Jersey week. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. Man, yeah. school fucking sucks ass. I can proudly say there was not one time that I actually enjoyed going to high school. No. I enjoyed, like... Time. Like, three out of four years of high school, really. Wait a minute. Actually, there is one time, that was marching band, where we actually won states and nationals the first year I joined, and everything else, we just either lost or COVID happened. Damn. Sad. Hell. But I did get to go on to the MetLife Stadium. I did get to go see the Virginia National Tattoo. Did get to um, do a lot of stuff. Nice. But school sucked ass! Yeah. <laughs> I had to go back to the... Yeah, I, I mean, like, high school is a little better than middle school, but, like, you know, not by high much. High school is a lot better than middle school. For uh, middle, middle school, school is, is uh, so cringe. Yeah. It was we're, bad. We're it, in the we fidget had... spinner craze. Oh, God. Oh, wait. I remember I when we had to dance for gym class. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Sixth grade, it was square dancing, and then we uh, did it like twice, and I've never needed that skill ever again for the rest yeah, of my no. life. We got to do line dancing too, and we had to create our own dances and showcase them to the class. I blocked oh, yeah. those memories. I blocked those memories so fucking hard. 
Then, oh man, I'll never forget one of those dancing things where the teeth. <laughs> it legit turned into like a 30 pe- of th- like those boys and girls separated. The girls were busy mm-hmm. doing line dancing and we were having like a 30 person mosh pit. Nice. <laughs> oh I my don't god. Remember that at all. Yeah, oh, that was the one the teacher was like paying attention. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I remember you're all, you know, you're all hitting puberty, so we're gonna make you awkwardly learn how to line dance. Excuse me. We're gonna awkwardly make it make you square dance with girls. Swing your partner yeah. round and round, do si do. What the fuck are you saying? Yeah, I'm not touching that person. She might have the cooties. No, yeah. it's more like the- no, it's more like I'm not attractive and girls don't like me. She, bro, <laughs> I yes. look at that. During... It's like it's like um, you know, it's it's that double standard. I'm, I can't remember. There's a meme. Of, it's like you know, the attractive guy at work. Hey, Susan, looking good. Oh yeah. And then it's the not so attractive guy. Hey, Susan, looking good. And just like you know, Hello, human resources. <laughs> Hello, yeah. human resources. Yeah, we've all we've all seen it. Yeah, it's exactly that. I was the ugly guy. Yeah. So. That's it. Remember oh, in yeah, fifth that's, grade that's where they all, matter. Remember in fifth grade where they all grouped us up and went, Yep, sex ed video bastards, quick. Yeah, all I took away from that was uh it was about this one kid who heard that another got kid had a massive dick and was worried his dick wasn't good enough, so he <laughs> talked to his cousin and his cousin said, Ah, you're in fifth grade, it'll get bigger and then it didn't get bigger. Um Oh my god. That's yeah, all I remember from that oh. video. Uh, just all I, I remember, know, I remember from that video that, that, was that it ended with a pad commercial. I remember okay. that. That was interesting. <laughs> okay. Oh man. But really the thing, know. the yeah. thing I remember the most of that. So it was like, it was like, so what happens when you grow up? And it was like a really quick slideshow of an animated kid growing up. And it's oh, like, man. it's like, well, not that fast. But how does it happen? Do and the kid shrugs. And it just fades to a yeah. diagram of a dick. And yeah, I remember, like, it, it was, it was it the one with, like, on the, it was on the, you know, white chalk on a, on a green chalkboard and it animated getting bigger. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? It was shortly after that that our dear friend, um, that, whose name I don't need to mention, I'll just tell you, he, he, his favorite insult after that was, haha, you virgin. Oh, and you know exactly who I'm talking about. Uh, he's mellowed um, out a lot. He's mellowed out. Well, I fucking hope so. It's been five years. It's a lot Wait, more than five years. years. Wait, who put it in the chat? I, I don't I know if I know him, but... Oh, bro. Oh, my God, that reminds me. A guy, exact same first name as him. Oh, him. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, so, a guy, exact same first name as guy one, right? I'll never mm. forget this. Seventh grade, Mr. Bender's music theory class. Fucking oh, homeroom yeah. in there. We're talking. Hey, uh, Ethan. Yeah. Yeah, you watching the new Star Wars movie? No. Hanzo Lo dies. <laughs> I bitch slap him instantly. No. Nah. Oh, man. Wait, wait the, the name I just put in chat? Uh, same no, name, um... different last one. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. But, um, oh, him! He had really spiky hair. Right? He had bitch the funniest. Him. The funniest nice. one from him. Was that really was... new? And like, no, that was new. Seventh, like, grade. Seventh, seventh, seventh grade. Seventh grade. No yes, way. Seventh grade. I'll never. Yeah. I do mm. remember Mr. Bender's class, seventh grade. Just insta bitch slap. Insta- do you guys remember this name? Oh my god! Oh, he <laughs> was. Oh. Oh, he was um a real. He hit every single cliche, annoying homosexual stereotype. I know, uh, unironic. Right? Like he was thinking about fucking like fucking AIDS and pedophiles and shit. Okay, so funny story. Funny story about that. So when we had a substitute, um, he was like going off because like the substitute couldn't do anything. He started singing a song about pedophiles. <laughs> and he was just like, he was going and going and going. And finally, by the end of the period, uh, that the guy, guy two, the one I posted, um, he just yells, SHUT THE FUCK UP! <laughs> and the room goes silent. And like, everyone starts laughing. And the substitute was so dumb with the guy, he was just like, he was like, hey, who did that? 
And then like mm. the guy, um, the guy pointed him out, and he's like, "Okay." I don't think he even said anything. He either said nothing or he was like, "Oh, don't do that." <laughs> um, but yeah, he didn't even get in trouble for that. It was, it was, that was no that shits were given. Yeah, no None shits were all. given. That's I wish crazy. I had that kind of cool substitute experience. The only one I only have two that I remember. The first one was um, remember in Ban where we had this substitute and he was trying to say a tongue twister. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. And three gay geese, the entire class lost it. <laughs> All three gray geese, three gay geese. And you try and control a bunch of unruly 13-year-old band kids. Dude, God. I remember that. Band Holy kids. shit. The second that, that substitute unlocked, though. Man, that Never. second substitute experience was fucking rough, man. I had a long-term substitute the entire school year. Mr. Jensen. Mm. Mm. The man was an Air Force veteran. Flew, um, I think he flew an F-16 from Czechoslovakia. Oh. That man was smart and mm. could not pass on the knowledge to save his life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. He, was, he was a very intelligent person. He was like, I th- he did it. He not only did he fly um the F sixteen. He did I think aerospace work. And he was a he was the he was the, my pre cal class substituting the entire school year. Mm-hmm. And um he was such a hard person to learn from. But you know he just couldn't teach. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I feel like you've uh, Kyle. I know you're in college and you've met a teacher who can't teach to save their life. Like, yep. you know, like, even if they have skin in the game and they love what they're doing, they just can't teach? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he was one of those guys. Very nah, passionate, always, very intelligent. That always sucks. Shitty teacher. Yeah. Very understanding. Funny story. I actually got locked out of my house, mm-hmm. and I didn't do my homework, and I talked to him. It was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, Ethan. Uh, yeah, you don't have to do the homework. Don't worry about it. I'm <laughs> like, thank you, God! <laughs> nice. Yeah, he said he came Very. to America during the New York City garbage strikes. Oh, oh God. <laughs> he was like, I was shocked to find America in such a dirty place. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Also, this wallpaper's being thing. Autobots, robots in disguise. <laughs> 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 oh, it's my doing it. Not no, just do it for me. Wow. I hope the podcast viewers will like this. Yes. This is the kind of quality you have on the Alpha Male podcast. Like, comment, and subscribe to the Alpha Male podcast. At that, on that note, for it the, is getting for the, every it is, other month of upload. It's been like yes. three months since the last one. <laughs> On oh. that note, it is getting very late, and I think we've been doing this for running about three hours now. Two. <laughs> so no, it's been two, two hours. Oh, okay. So I think we should uh, wrap it up. Oh, what we didn't get to think? the surprise background. Alpha male podcast. Oh. Tell, me, tell me the surprise background. Alrighty. I think it's better if we show it to you. Pay attention. Yes. Let's Alrighty, let's, let's show him. Pr- where is it? Prank him, John. Turn the volume up. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was supposed to come on randomly, but it was it was showing a few of them duplicates. So, unfortunately, there's no music, but let's not get copyright.